What is up? What is up? What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Casual Chuck, back again with another live podcast, you guys. How is everyone doing right this evening or wherever you are? I hope you are doing fine. Have you gotten your uh, dinner for the people who has who are in the Philippines? Guys, medyo hindi ako mag-English siguro ngayon kasi nga we have a Pinoy uh, guest. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, take it easy um, and just speak in Tagalog for now, I guess. Uh, it's a light day or it's a light night tonight, you guys. So, I can't wait to introduce you the guest but for now, Wait, 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 muna tayo. Let's wait for people to come in. I'm gonna do some shout outs for two minutes. Our guest for tonight is the one and only Mr. JR Reacts, all the way from South Carolina. Oh, hello. I already forgot if it's North or South Carolina. We'll confirm later. <laughs> Nalilito ako sa dalawang states na yun. Anyway, guys, how's everybody, how's everybody doing in the live chat? I hope you guys are doing fine. Shout out to you, LO. 18 shout out to you Len Reyes is here Aija Ultima Rina Maldonado um who else GG GG Hope is here as well Missy Muller is here wala kang pasok Missy sana makapanood ka ng buong stream tonight shout out to you Julie Bebe Joel R Sosmena shout out to you Ana Kinyoza shout out to you Master Cutie is here. Ang Pogi, ang escort ng casuals is here. Master Cutie, shout out to you, my brother. Um, recently turned, uh, re recently turned vlogger, yan guys. So he has videos. You might check him out. Subscribe to his channel. He does some uh, personal fun videos. Shout out to Rose Espina, always present. Ramon Resurrection, RR, shout out to you, my man. Uh, Santiara Nash Maliari, shout out to you. Who else? Who else have we got? Grab him, bilis ng chat, guys. Um, Abby, Abby Cabrera, Silent Princess, and uh, Dodi Balesteros, Francis Francis, Abby Cabrera is here as well. Um, who else? Johoy Po is here. Shout out to you, Johoy Po. Ang sipag mag vote niya. Nakikita ko sa space. Almost always, every time I check Twitter. Um, Essential Paradise is here. Queenie Elizabeth Lee is here as well. Oh man, a lot of people are here. Jang Jose as is here as well. Jang Jose, ako of course ikaw. <laughs> Shout out to you, Sasa. Um, di ko maklik lahat ng names because it's really fast. Jolina Benitez, G G G G G G G G. Shout out to you, Raquel Tabasa, Leo. Ha Dad Pass, Bam Bam is here as well. Bam Bam, where are you? The chat is going wild, bro. I can't, I can barely, barely keep up with it. Miss Late Bloomer is here as well, as well as Miss Rose. Well, here's Master Cutie as well. Cherry Floor is here as well. Shout out to everybody. I hope you had, you guys had fun. Uh, have you guys watched Justin's uh, new video? I have not. So I might watch it later tonight, but we'll go ahead and uh, talk to our guest first. So I will not take more time uh, beating around the bush. Let's introduce us to our guest for tonight. This this guy is one of the fastest growing content creators here in YT. He reacts to Filipino music and most especially SB19. He captured our hearts because of his genuine reactions and intelligent inputs. So without further ado, please welcome Mr. JR Reacts. How are you, brother? Hello, guys. Hello. Good morning. Good evening. Good day to all of you and to all the Filipinos all over the world. I am Mr. JR. And with me is Casual Chuck, Mr. Chuck. Yeah. That is so cool. That's an iconic intro there, brother. <laughs> I mean, I always remember your intro. Like, I, it's it's really, you made it yours. So, ah, really cool to hear it here in my stream. So, grab it. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> Thank you. I'm so lucky to have you. Salamat at... Uh, Pinaunlakan mo yung uh, invitation ko, oh, grabe, ang lalim oh, na no, na. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, grabe. Oo nga, no, ang lalim, no. 
<laughs> di ako ano, di kasi ako, di kasi ako Tagalog, so Bisaya ako, di ako sanay magtagalog. Pero uh, at bisaya least Bisaya din ako, Chuck. Ay, Bisaya food ka, Tagasa. Yeah. Ka, <laughs> uh, kanang kanang akong mga igso, oh. igso on ba yung kamag-anak o kapatid? Oh, kanang parientes, yeah. kanang ako Pariente. mga parientes taga diha sa um, Davao. So they speak uh, Bisaya in my home. At my home in uh, Paranaque, kaya lumaki ako na nakakarinig. Pero medyo awkward ako magsalita. Pero nakakaintindi oh. talaga ako. So, hindi mo ako pwedeng ibenta. Yes! <laughs> I love that, I love that, I love that. Oh, man. So, okay. it's It makes me so happy that we have someone na uh, marunong magbisaya finally sa channel yeah. natin. Oh, my Try. God. We, we, nice. can we can try. We can try. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens na lang, siguro. Oh, <laughs> we'll yeah. go with the flow. So, have you... Uh, ano oras ngayon where, where you are? Uh, It's exactly 7.17 here at North Carolina, USA. All right. Shout out to uh, 18 North Carolina out there. May mga 18 ka bang na-meet na dyan? Wala pa, pero nung ano, first time ko na nag-join dun sa US um, 18, that was last week na meron silang AGS. Nga may mga nakilala ko. May mga ano nga, may mga content creator din from North Carolina na na mga foreign national kasi they invited I think one guest there. I think his name is something with a cloud and he said he is from North Carolina and he also um reacts to SB19. But he's a foreign national. Oh, I think I've seen his channel um at at one point. So that's really cool. All right. Yeah. I'm so happy seeing you like interact with people. You joined the in, uh the SB19 GDM for reactors. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. It's really cool. Last like two weeks ago lang yata or last week lang ako nagkaroon ng ano ng Twitter for <laughs> for myself and that is because of <laughs> SB19. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been there. Like I have created Instagram, uh, especially Twitter, just for SB19. So yeah, I can totally relate. <laughs> okay, so let's get to know Jr. Is is that what you prefer to be called? JR? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's get to know Jr. Guys, so nakita niyo naman may poll ako na nilagay dito. Um, let me just show this here. Asking or asking people to guess. Um, how many kids does JR have? So JR has blank kids. So the choices are between six, three, and zero. So okay, most people answered three, seven, eight percent. So that's really okay. That's interesting. Can you reveal the answer? The correct answer is I have three kids. Yung aking panganay ay uh, 24 years old. His name is Joseph. Followed by yung pangalawa ko is a girl. Um, her name is Yuna Venice. And yung bunso ko naman is a five-year-old boy. All right. Cool. So, ano yung mga edad nila? How old are they? Yeah. So, yung panganay is 25, uh, 24. Um, yung pangalawa is uh, nine years old at yung pangatlo ay five years old. Wow, such a gap from the first uh, f- from the first child. So how did that happen? <laughs> oh my God, I'm not gonna tell you the story. I wanted to save my career as a teacher. Oi, <laughs> why? Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, I respect that. I respect no, that. Bro. No, no, I'm just kidding. Pero <laughs> ano? Alam mo naman, medyo, medyo, ano, napaiba-ibang landas. Okay. I gotcha. Okay. <laughs> we, we can leave it at that. I totally understand. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, how how is it living, like, with, with kids, but you're away from them? Oh, that is, that is one of the saddest story of my life. Um... Uh, Chuck, um, this is not the first time because before I nag OFW na rin ako, um, to, you know, may, may hirap kasi tayong pinanganak eh. So, I have to, um, work abroad uh, first before. Hindi pa ako nakagraduate ng college noon. And then I have to leave yung panganay ko. Parang mga nasa four or five years old pa lang siya noon eh. Uh, it was one of the most painful stories of my life kasi, you know, mga minsan, naalala ko yung una kong alis no. Every night pag-uwi ko galing sa trabaho, mag 
magtatalokbong lang ako ng kumot and then I'll cry a river. Basang-basa yung unan ko. Alam mo yung, oh my God, ba't ka nag-background ng ganyan? <laughs> okay. so, so, yung parang, it, it is, kasi ano eh, parang wini-weigh-in mo lahat ng mga bagay eh. When I saw yung aking panganay na nagdedede lang siya ng am, na nakikita ko yung mga ibang bata, dumidede sila ng mga regular na mga formulas, It was like, oh. walang nakakakita, no? Ako lang yun, ako lang. Pero it was so painful. Tapos wala kang magawa kasi wala kang pera. You have to walk mula sa bahay hanggang palengke para lang magpagiling ng bigas. Ganon kahirap yung buhay namin natin. Na super swerte ka kapag ka may, ano, may skim milk na ilalagay sa am. Kapag walang-walang pera, um, ano lang, yung... Uh, asuka lang, and then kapag wala talaga, asin lang yung minimix namin. And those are the, those are the years kaya na, na kaya napapatulala ako, napapaisip talaga, and then I have to do something, I have to do something, kasi um, helpless kaming lahat eh. I mean, in our family, lahat naman kami halos ay parang mga, wala rin mga anything pa sa buhay ng mga time na yon So I really have to make sacrifice. And then yun nga, nung Napalayo ako sa pamilya ko by that time. It was the most painful part, part kasi parang feeling mo dapat sinusubaybayan mo silang mag-grow, di ba? Kaya lang kasi right. wala kang option eh. Wala kang choice. Wala kang magagawa. Kasi mas priority mo na makapag-provide sa kanila para kahit pa paano nabubuhay sila ng merong pride, nabubuhay sila na nakikita nila na yung ibang mga bata eh meron din sila. So as a magulang, no, as a parent, parang lahat ng sakripisyo talaga gagawin mo lahat ng sakripisyo. Iniiyak ko yun, siguro mga two months chak nung time na yung unang alis ko. Ito kasing pangalawang alis ko, medyo okay na dahil naranasan ko na eh. Kumbaga, tapos hindi pa ganun kahirap yung trabaho kasi this time I am an OFW as a teacher na before kasi um, sa furniture ako, taga-fix lang kami ng ano, parang parang alam mo naman, sa furniture lang ako nagkatrabaho, nag-assemble lang kami ng furniture sa, sa back room. Ganun yung trabaho ko. Kasi hindi naman ako graduate nun eh, ng, ng college. Tapos nga, alas graduate pa lang ako by that time. So, thankful na rin. Sobrang late ng sweldo. Tapos, ang dami namin sa isang kwarto nung unang mga buwan ko. So, pagdating ko pa doon, nung sinundo ko ng Pilipino, pagdating ko sa kwarto, pito kami na iba-ibang lahi. Meron taga Syria, meron tapos uh, may mga Indian, ganun. So I have to mingle with them. Tapos, huwag daw makapagsalita ng Tagalog kasi yung Pilipino na nandoon, hinatid niya lang ako eh. Tapos umalis na siya sa ibang lugar. So, isa siya sa mga ano, pero isa rin siya sa mga nagpalakas talaga sa akin ng sobra. Isa siya sa mga mahirap. Siguro alam niya ng lahat ng mga OFW at saka yung mga parent, mga lumalaki yung mga bata na nawala ka. Kaya sabi ko nga eh, uh, sobrang swerte ng no, mga hindi na kailangang umalis kasi Walang mas masarap na pakiramdam kundi kasama mo yung mga anak mo na sa araw-araw inaadid mo sila sa paaralan, sa school, nagpe-prepare ka para sa kanila. It's 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 one rewarding ano eh, one rewarding feeling eh, na nakakapag-serve ka ng ganun para sa mga bata. Yeah man, like um, I totally it breaks my heart hearing your story right there kasi nga ako being away from uh, from my kids for just a few hours it, it drives me crazy so compare it to your oh, yeah. situation so man uh, it must be it must have been really really hard especially the moment when you left you know for the first time tapos isali mo pa yung mga pinagdaanan mo sa abroad so you know i mean back home if you think about back home you miss your family if you think about yeah. yourself like you are in a bad situation but you just have to be strong just to you know keep on going and provide for your family so um i really appreciate you sharing that story and uh i'm proud for you like i mean i'm i'm really proud of you that you're able to you know um get past that and yeah. right now look at you i mean uh so your your eldest must be you know at least an adult now right yeah so, um Actually, teacher na din siya ngayon. So, there's a, wow. there's a funny story oh my God. with that. Kasi nung, alam ko yung teachers kasi sa Pilipinas, medyo mahirap eh. So, nung time na yon sabi ko gusto ko mag-dentish siya eh. Eh, medyo kahit pa paano, nakakapag-provide na rin ako sa kanila na may maganda na rin akong trabaho niya sa Pilipinas. So, sabi niya sa akin, pa, gusto kong mag-ano ka? Gusto kong, ma- gusto kong mag-teacher din. Sabi niya sa akin. Sabi ko, na, 
bakit? Tapos sabi ko, akala ko ba magdi-dentist ka? Sabi niya, hindi, magti-teacher na lang ako. Sabi ko, bakit gusto mag-teacher? Kasi daw parang ang saya-saya ko daw magturo, parang ang ano ko daw sa klase, ang ang light ko sa klase, parang ganun. So parang na-inspire siya sa akin. So sabi ko, sige, mag-teacher ka kung makakapasa ka dun sa, um, actually sa uh, Philippine Normal University siya graduate. Sabi ko, kung makakapasa siya ng exam sa PNU, kasi magandang school yun for uh, teachers. And luckily, nakapasa naman siya. And now he's teaching in uh, La Salle as a uh, senior high school um, uh, wow. faculty member. That's just an amazing story, man. Like he definitely walked your your footsteps. Like he he followed yes. through, and you know it it must it must feel really good. Support more, like as a, as a dad, you know, like yeah. because your your kid saw you as a role model, and he followed right to your footsteps. You know, I, I couldn't be more prouder if that happens to me. But of course, whatever my kids want to do in life, I will support them. That's But right. I'm just so happy to hear about your story. Like, you know, and he looks just like you, man. Like, uh, man, manang mana siya sa'yo, right? <laughs> Actually, yung babae ko daw ang ano, eh, kamukhang kamukha ako, eh, sabi sa akin, eh. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Uh, She's also really, um, really pretty, a pretty kid. Um, at, grabe, ang ganda ng jeans. <laughs> you must be very, very proud. So, okay, um, Wow, it's just so amazing to hear stories like this. Because uh, this is parenthood, and I'm a parent, and I'm just a young oh, parent, yeah. and I see you as an inspiration right now. So um, I, I'm just thankful that you shared this story with us right now. So okay, um, so one Paul pa lang yung uh, so okay. What what do you do to cope with homesickness, like while you're away? Because uh, you've been away for how many years now, right? Yeah. So, so how um, do you cope with it? Una, um, is, uh, mas madali na kasi ngayon eh, mag-communicate uh, through video eh. So right. every day, kapag uh, papunta ako ng klase while driving, kasi it took me like around, uh, before one hour yung driving ko eh. Ngayon, 30 minutes na lang kasi mas malapit yung school. So naka-video chat ako sa kanila while driving. Sometimes I'll ju- I just listen to their conversation. I don't have to like uh, make a uh, specific um, conversation with them. Yon. Tapos every day, you know, chatting, looking at their pictures. Then oh. may mga moment din ako na dito sa bahay, man, dami nila mga pictures dito. Nung unang alis ko nga, may, yung mga alam mo yung kasabihan natin na ano dadalhin mo yung mga labahan nila yung yung damit na suot nilang huli <laughs> dala, oh dala, man oh, dala dala ko yan palagi tapos nakasabit lang yan dito inaamoy-amoy ko lang kapag na-miss ko oh, yung mga bata man. ganyan until such time na ano oh na God. hinang ko na lang siya sa wall tapos ganyan kapag dadating ako na gusto kong yakapin ayan ya hinahalik-halikan ko yung mga pero yung last na damit na mga uh, suot nila palagi kong ginagawa yun eh sa tahanggan sa Hanggang sa oras na ayong mag-okay ka na sa ano mo sa pagkakamis mo sa kanila. 'Yon. So, there are also some things like listening to music, listening to SB19 like recently, sobrang na-enjoy ko lahat ng mga content ng mga SB19 na nirere ako. Tapos most of the times kasi na alam mo yung trabaho ng teacher is laging may extension yan sa bahay eh. So, hindi yan yes. tapos sa school lang eh. So, yun, siyempre, you keep yourself busy and do va- um, do some sports also. Yeah. Yun, ganun. Work-life balance, you know. Um, yeah. If you have that, then you can definitely you can definitely stay happy. So, great. That's so awesome. So, um, you brought out, you brought up sports. So, I also um, asked the audience here about um, your previous like activities extracurricular activities in the past so um the question is jr used to be a blank coach so the choices are between dance basketball and volleyball so um can you reveal the answer jr well the correct answer is all of the above yeah (laughs) so wow what a talented person like Oh man! So how how did that happen? Like volleyball, well, basket basketball, and dance, bro. That's yeah. you must be very active back in back in the day or even now. 
Yeah, so as currently I am playing here sa volleyball and actually nagplan nga ako na mag coach dito ng uh, volleyball eh, probably sa mga susunod na taon. Pero um in the Philippines kasi sa public school alam mo naman ang public school nung nasa public school merong mga coaching opportunities and so kahit pa paano meron naman akong alam then na uh, na motivate din ako ng isa sa mga co-teacher ko si Coach Boyet. So I started coaching volleyball muna for boys and girls. Then we are competing actually regional levels na with uh, some private schools and some wow. um, public schools then. Medyo popular yung group namin. I was able to uh, give the kids a very good program. Um, and then after noon nag uh, coach din ako at the same time sa basketball naman uh, for boys and girls same level secondary level then which is really cool and um alam mo yung mga competition ng mga school sa dancing like yung mga festival dance and cheer dances something like that so i also do coach uh, them pero parang sa mga ganong type ng mga ako yung main coach then merong mga may mga nag a sa uh, assist para sa choreography, sa mga designs, sa pag-create ng mga kung ano-anong mga uh, pwedeng ilagay sa performances para maging uh, uh, maganda. So, yun. Wow. I also coach very, very actually active. billiards. And, oh! Yeah, billiards? So, so bili- yeah, billiards. And, and nasabi ko lang siya kasi... Um, by that time na nag-coach ako, yun yung kauna-unahang sports na nakarating ako ng national level sa palarong pambansa. So, yeah. Nag-coach din ako ng billiards for like three years or something like that. That's a long time. I, I can't even play billiards. I don't know how to properly hold the, what do you call oh it, the stick. <laughs> Let's go. Let's set up a day. Let's play billiards. Yeah, man, it's it's really cool to watch people who are really good in billiards. Kasi nga marami nagbi billiard din sa amin before sa nung nasa probinsya pa lang ako. Pero dito lang ako magaling mag billiards. So ayon. <laughs> Chaka may nag- miss. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So dati kasi nag nag varsity ako ng ano nag varsity ako ng swimming. Hindi ako nag-varsity ng dancing, hindi ako nag-varsity ng basketball, hindi ako nag-varsity ng uh, volleyball. Nung first year high school ako, nag-varsity ako ng swimming, pero sobrang aksidente yun. Kasi, nagtanong lang yung, ano, sa public school ako, nagtanong lang yung uh, swimming coach na, sino rito marunong mag-swimming? Eh, wala man ako idea na meron pa lang yung, um, yung standard na pag, paglango. Hindi ko alam yun. Alam ko, marunong ako lumangot, pero hindi ko alam na, na meron palang sports na swimming. So, nagtaas ako ng kamay. Tapos, eh, walang ibang nagtaas ng kamay. So, sabi ng professor, ay, ng teacher, o oh, sige, ikaw kukunin kong player. Di, sabi ko, tapos, competition niya malapit na. Di, ay, ako naman, tuwantawa ako na maglalaro ako. Tapos, yung competition sa Don Bosco. So, yung day ng competition, wala kaming training, walang practice. Basta, sinawak ako sa, ano, sa, sa paglango. Hindi ko alam na meron palang mga... <laughs> May mga freestyle, may mga backstroke. Kaya lang oh, ko, ano lang, lang oi aso lang yung pang survival lang. Just me. Yung, pagdating ko ng Don, pagdating ko ng Don Bosco, nakita ko na yung mga tapos may dadaanan ka na para mga shower room. Mga nakaano sila, mga nakatrang sila, tapos ako naka basketball shorts. Tapos, oh my Grabe. god. So, napasubo. Talaga napasubo ako, pero nanalo ako ng bronze. Ano ba ko ba? Wow. Kasi Paano? apat lang apat lang kaming ano competitor. Ngayon naawa yung naaw at last ako kasi lahat sila tapos na sila lumangoy. Ako lumalamoy pa rin ako, hindi pa ako tapos lumangoy. Tapos naawa yung naawa yung parang director ng sports, yung dalawang nahuli, ginawa nila siya third place. Ala. I was a bad experience kasi yeah, sinabak ako na pagdating ko doon ang gagaling lumangoy ng mga kalaban ko, nagfi-freestyle lang sila. Ako naglalangoy aso lang. <laughs> Grabe. Ang napaka unlikely naman ng experience na yun pero masaya. I'm masaya. sure memorable din sa iyo. <laughs> yeah, so bright hindi ko makalayo po sa inyo. Ay grabe, ang saya naman noon. So, okay, grabe, dami mong ginawa ah um, sa ano mo, sa early days mo. Napaka-active mo talaga. Tsaka kitang-kita rin sa ano mo dito, sa itsura mo dito, napaka-athletic ng katawan mo dito. Ikaw itong oh, nasa wow. gitna, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> yan, ako yan. Ano ano pa yan? Oh, nga pala sinin ko pala sa iyo yan. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, ako yung naka uh, checkered ba yan? 
na yes. shorts. Yan. Nice. All right. Really cool. So, um, uh, how did you handle na the coaching thing? I mean, di ba, minsan may mga makukulit na players, tapos ano, hindi na hindi. So, uh, how, how did may, you medyo handle ano ko eh. Medyo malakas ang aking uh, management skills eh, pagdating sa mga bata. So, oh. oo, medyo, alam mo, medyo strict ako, medyo, medyo, ano, medyo actually iniilagan ako na mag-coach. Yung mga nagko-coach, yung mga kino-coach ko talaga, sila yung mga bata na talagang gustong mag-stay, gustong matuto, gustong mag-improve. Kasi nice. parang, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't waste time dun sa mga gusto mo lang mag-join kasi merong pangalan, may title na nakakabit dun eh. So, nakikita ko naman kung sino talaga yung gusto mag-improve eh. So, I don't just go to the talent itself eh. Ang hinahanap ko yung mga bata na gustong matuto talaga. So, sila yung kasi yung, yung mga may motivation na talagang matuto. Sila yung gusto ko talagang i-coach over dun sa mga meron ng talent pero may attitude naman. So, medyo yeah. isa yan sa mga practices ko. And, sa pagko-coach naman kasi actually kahit na hindi ganoon kataas yung skill mo basta inaaral mo kung paano ma ma-develop yung talent sa mga bata madali mo siyang yeah. matututunan Exactly sa so, like good example are some NBA players na average player lang but when they became coaches they became they become legendary so That's I totally right. get what you're saying there there are people who knows better there are people who are better as teachers than players. So, yeah. So, I, I think that's what you are. So, that's really cool to hear from you, JR. Okay. So, I have a third poll right here asking our audience, um, how old were you uh, when you graduated in co uh, from college? So, how old were you when you graduated from college? Can you tell us? Oh, uh, I graduated... Um when I was 29 years old. Yeah, so medyo late na yung graduation ko, uh, Chuck. Kasi nga, alam mo, yung, yung hirap nga ng buhay, no? hindi ko kaya siyang pagsabayin. Though I try na mag-working student, pero iba kasi yung working student na you work only para sa sarili mong survival. Eh, sa mag-work ka na dahil kailangan um, mag-survive din ng family mo. So I really have to step out from college by that time na... Gustong gusto ko, pero gusto ko talaga makatapos eh. Kasi, to be honest with you and to all the listeners and to all the, who are watching here, um, in our, like, family, ako lang yung kauna-una ang nakagraduate pa lang ng college eh. Parang, mahirap kasi yung buong, ano eh, yung buong angkan nung time na mga, yung mga time na ganun. So, parang isa siya sa mga gusto ko talaga. Ang objective ko kasi sa family namin, ano eh, yung maputol yung kultura ng kahirapan. Parang, Kasi generation by generation, nakita ko yung kahirapan. Na parang nag-grow lang siya na nag-grow na parang kailan ito matatapos. And pag hindi pa siya natapos sa akin, mag-continue siya sa mga anak ko, sa mga bata. Kaya sabi ko, kailangan gumawa ng paraan na, na maputol yung kultura ng kahirapan. Kasi ang hirap mabuhay ng mahirap eh. Isa yan sa mga, isa yan sa mga naging, ano ko, naging panata ko sa buhay na... Um, Hindi mo kasalanan na ipinanganak ang mahirap, pero kasalanan mo kung mamamatay ka ng mahirap. Kaya habang nabubuhay ka, you have to do your best. Lahat ng mga options na pwede mong magawa. Kasi legacy mo sa mga generations na susunod, lalong-lalo sa mga anak mo na kahit pa paano, hindi na nila maranasan yung mga uh, naranasan mo before na alam mong sobrang hirap. Tsaka higit sa lahat yung... Yung meron lang kasi tayo kapag ka mawawala tayo sa mundo, yung dignidad. So gusto ko mabuhay yung mga bata ng may dignidad. Mabuhay sila oh. ng nakikita nila na kapareho sila ng ibang mga bata. Kaya, yan. So, wow. um, nakapag-decide lang ako na mag-aral ulit after ko makaipon ng konti nung una kong pag-abroad. Tapos, yun. So, nakapag-tayo ako ng sari-sari store sa oh Paranaque. God. Nung time na kumikita na ng okay yung sari-sari store, so sabi ko parang feeling ko pwede na akong mag-start mag-trabaho kasi nag-earn nag na yung sari-sari store eh. Tapos may mga konting paupahan na rin ako nung mga time na yon So yun, I started, um, I went back to school again. Nagpa-readmit ako sa, sa school ko sa Philippine Normal University. And then nung... After noon, 29 years old ako nung natapos ko yung aking bachelor's degree. 
Oh wow, oh my god. I mean, I'm so inspired right now, to be honest, JR. Kasi nga, I'm a high school graduate. I never, never have I ever had, you know, finishing college cross my mind until now. Like, what if, right? So, I don't know. I might just decide to go back to school really soon because of you. So, um, yes, you have to. You had That's to. just so inspiring, man. I mean, you had a kid already, right? And oh, oh. Actually, you had a job abroad, and you still chose. I mean, you had businesses. So, I mean, if I were you, I wouldn't really think about going back to school because I have the the income. But you were not contented. So, I love that about you. So, wow, that's so inspiring, man. And uh, yeah, you made me think about going back to school now. <laughs> Yeah, consider that, Chuck. Consider that. Nung nasa abroad kasi ako, here's the here's what happened. So yung aking pinaka manager don. It's just like um, he told me na uh, uh, napaka talented mo, napaka hard working mo. Pero you know what? Uh, this is a company. As much as I want to promote you on some other position, I cannot do that. Kasi, ano, kulang tayo ng documents uh, para sa iyo. Bata ka pa naman eh. Um, would you want to consider going back to school? Kasi, may mararating ka eh kapag ka nakatapos ka ng pag-aaral. Yan sabi niya sa akin. So, it, it just went into my mind. Parang nabaon siya sa puso ko. And then, until such time nga na sabi ko, ah, nung time na pwede na, at alam ko na, Uh, makakapag-support na rin ako at the same time and then masusuportahan ko na din yung pag-aaral ko so I decided to uh, finish my bachelor's degree for mathematics. Nung time kasi na parang second year high school lang yung natapos ko eh. So hindi ko alam kung matatouch natin to later pero bigyan ko na rin ng konting background. So second year high school lang yung natapos ko then nung first year uh, first grading period ng third grading ay doon ako nagkaroon ng anak na panganay And I stopped um, schooling by that time. Kaya kaya ka na ako na kay Josh eh, dahil dun sa ALS. So I only graduated yeah. sa Alternative Learning System. So hindi ako nag third wow. year, tsaka nag fourth year high school. And um, nag take lang ako ng ALS as an alternative para makapag complete ako ng high school level at uh, that time. So luckily nakapasa naman ako sa test. And yun nga, doon ako nakapag high school Tsaka doon na rin ako nagkaroon ng trabaho abroad Kasi hindi ka makapasok sa abroad kung wala kang high school diploma eh. So I use that yeah. also Kaya doon ako sobrang connected Doon nalaman ko na oh ang daming nag-comment sa video ko Na si Josh is also an ALS graduate Kaya oh my god, I really connected with Josh And so I look into that specific video Wherein Josh um, made that uh, pronouncement That he graduated from ALS Kasi sobrang lapit ng puso ko sa mga ALS graduate Me myself being an ALS graduate Yeah, man, the way you did it, you na graduate ka through ALS, I mean, it's not easy because the, the the exam itself, the review is is very, very tough. And um, tapos, to make that adjustment pa nung na college ka, grabe, sobrang hangang-hanga saludo ako sa iyo, JR. Wow. No, thank you, you, thank you. You're so, so inspiring. So, thank you so much for sharing your story and people in the live chat. It's, it's, it's full of appreciation for your story. So, oh. Man. Oh my God! Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so. Much. I can't see the live chat, pero I, I am, I am, you know, I am just so open. Kahit naman sa mga ano sa mga mga reaction ko, I just say what I wanna say. And parang hindi ko rin siya ine-edit na kung ano na lang, kung ano talaga yung masabi ko by the time na I react to a certain video. So yun na lang yung ano ko. And also my life is an open book. Parang hindi rin naman siya ano. I always wanted to make sure na. We make inspiration at least to one person every day kasi hindi mo alam kung ano yung yung mga pwede mong sabihin tsaka yung mga pwede mong maibigay sa isang tao. Hindi mo alam kung gaano kalaki yung impact nun sa kanya. Eh. So sa'yo parang simple lang yun. Pero sa ibang tao na pwede makarinig at makaalam noon, it's, it, it could be very big. It could be very big. So hindi mo lang alam. So we always do that. We always try to inspire people. Yeah, that's so amazing. And you did just that right now. So thank you so much. Okay, so medyo napaka uh, may pagka-soft hours tayo ngayon. So oh tigil muna natin 'yan. 
<laughs> Let's go ahead and take a break for a little bit and play an icebreaker. Let's break the ice for a little bit, okay? Medyo napapaimo tayo ng konti dun, yeah. <laughs> so, I want to play a new game, actually. It's gonna be a first, uh, a new game that we're going to play in this podcast. It's called Guess the SB19 Member. So, before it was Guess the SB19 Face. This one is Guess the SB19 Member. So, the rule, uh, the rules, well, this, the rule of the game is very, very simple. Um, I will show pictures that serves as clue na, appropri- uh, na associated dun sa specific uh, SB19 member. And I'll have the live chat guess it and you as well. So if you need help, um, take a look at the live chat. If you're competitive, you don't look at it. So, um, yeah, that's really it. You guess the SB19 member. So, um, okay. Alay Rain, thank, thank you so much for the 25 Hong Kong dollars. Thank you so much for that. You're the best. So, going back, let's go ahead and play this game. Are you ready, uh, JR? Yeah, let's get it on. <laughs> Let's get it on. Okay, let me just grab that game real quick here. Um, all right, let's see. Here we go. So first game is here. Guess the SB19 member. Okay, first clue. What is it? Ooh. Which one? <laughs> who, who, uh, which SB19 member is this? 20 pesos. Live chat, what do you think? Oh, uh, I think it's Josh. Why do you think it's Josh? Ah, uh, yung line niya sa... Anong, anong song to na watuloy sa isip ko? 20, 20, telehente, something like that. Oh, uh, so what? Ah, uh, so what, yeah. Okay, you think so? Okay, alright. Let's see if it's really Josh. Yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> Good job. Not bad. Not bad so far. Okay. Wala okay, ka bang clapping ano diyan? Wala ka bang clapping effect diyan? Wala eh. <laughs> oh, ako na lang. Ako na mag-clap sa <laughs> I'm still learning dito sa live streaming, but yeah, think good job so far. How about this one? Oh my god. 50. <laughs> Wala naman silang line na 50-50, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Wala, pero tingnan natin. Um, live chat, what do you think? Pwedeng hindi 50-50. Oh my God. Pwedeng, pwedeng, hiba, eh, pwedeng ano, pwede pwedeng Tagalog. Pwede, pwede. Pwede ka rin tumingin sa live chat. Wala namang ano. Ah, I, will not take it, I, I will not take it against you if you take a look at the live chat. Okay, so dito nakikita ko I can... Okay, all right. Is can your vote as well? Your uh, answer? I always trust the audience, so I'll <laughs> go for Ken. All right. Okay. Let's see if it's Ken. Let's see if it's Ken. Yes. So, so let me explain why. Right. So, yeah, okay. Samana line ya. There was a line that says "Pusta ko cincuenta." Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh yes, it, it was Ken's line. So, ayun, mana. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's kind of... So, mis- yeah, go ahead. Me, me, medyo misleading siya kasi nga, ano, I made it tough for, for people. It's oh it challenging God. for you. <laughs> so, make fun. Ah. Okay. I hope you're having fun so far, though. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. <laughs> Alright, next one. Next clue. Ooh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Guys, what do you think? What is this? Hold up. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'll let you think. The people are starting to answer. Hmm. Wedding wedding C. Wedding C. Sistel? Para dun Have sa, you... sa, sa barrel or... Okay. I don't know. Uh, napanood mo na ba yung School Buddies episode 1 nila? Hindi pa eh. eh hindi pa. Ah, okay. Tsaka, I would understand that you don't get it kasi nga, uh, this is more of a Twitter reference kasi nga, isa sa SB19 members parang nagpauso neto. So, yeah, you, you might wanna check the live chat. Some people are saying Ken, Pablo. Pablo. Olbap. 
Ya, yeah, all bap. All bap to. Oh. <laughs> like, so, like, hold up. Well, what's, you, what's your answer? What do you think? I'll go for Pablo. Ang dami nagsasabing all bap eh. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Yes, oh, it absolutely so, is Pablo. So, isa sa mga, kung hindi mo napanood yung episode na yun, so, it makes sense na hindi mo alam. So, um, may, kina, may kinanta siya na ano, itaas yung ang kamay, all bap to. So, it's like, really, uh, it's, it's like, oh. you know, a word play to hold up. So, yun, all bap, baliktad Pablo. Mm, Ayun. Okay. <laughs> So nasa nasa show break pa lang kasi ako eh. Ayoko kasi panoorin yung mga videos nila. Gusto ko yung yung one so, video at a time na journey lang kasi ano okay. ang dami nilang content eh. So iniiwasan ko talaga na mapanood agad lahat. So kung ano lang yung i-react ko, yun lang yung pinapanood ko muna. All right. Okay, that's fine. Totally understandable. So next one. Oh, what is this? This is tough. I made it a little bit hard. Oh my lord. So, oh, okay. Wait. So, pure hmm. distilled drinking water chaka boy? What is that? Hmm. Water boy. <laughs> I don't know. So, people may in na- the live chat are also may, confused. May napanood They're saying, ako sa ano eh, no, parang water boy. May naalala ako na may nagsabi ng water boy sa isa sa mga Show break yata eh. Oh, okay. Actually, uh, you you almost remember it, pero medyo may konting mali doon sa Waterboy na <laughs> People are saying, uh, Stel? Justin? Who else? Yeah, probably Justin. Justin. Probably Justin. Okay. Don't worry, I'll explain after we reveal the answer. So, okay, Justin is your answer. Let's see what the answer is. So yon, it's okay, Justin. Okay, Justin. So what's the story behind? So he's one of his most popular nicknames is Pure Boy. Pero hindi naman talaga siya pure. He's not really innocent. But yeah, purified distilled drinking water and then uh, an icon of a boy. So Pure Boy. So that's Justin, the oh. Mr. Pure Boy ng SB19. So you're oh, learning yeah. a lot here, Jr. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so Pure Boy Justin. Next one. Oh, who is this? Manananggal? Manananggal? Diba SB19 yan dapat? Yeah. Hmm. So the live chat is really ah. having some fun. They're so engaging. Oh my god. Uh, Stel? Why Stel? Uh, you don't know. It's okay. It's just your gut. Kasi yung si Stel kasi is the associated siya kay Superman eh. So, yung mga kalaban ng mga manananggal would be a superhero. Oh my God, what did I say? <laughs> okay, that's fine. It actually kind of makes sense. It makes sense actually. So, let's reveal the answer. It's actually Stel. Oh, so, you're right. That. Yeah, so you're right. Superman, manananggal. But um, the the most connected con- uh, context to it is that sa manananggal na, na song, Stel was the one who actually laughed and impersonated as a uh, manananggal. Made a manananggal impression. Oh, <laughs> so that was Stel. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh my All god, right. these are tough, Chuck. These are tough. <laughs> Sorry, this is a new game. It's just an experiment. You are the first guy who, who ever tried oh, this. So guess. it makes sense na medyo mahirap. Tsaka medyo nile-level up ko siya. Kasi nga medyo paulit-ulit na yung iba kong games. <laughs> so anyway, okay, next one. Ooh. Oh, okay. so takot sa roller... paputok. More... Yeah, paputok ano ba? or roller coaster. Paputok man or roller coaster? I thought it's paputok. Nakita ko yung fireworks sa likod. Oh, yeah, roller more... coaster. Yeah, it's both. Yeah. Hindi ko pa yata to na sa show break nila. Hindi pa. I mean, it makes sense na hindi mo alam to kasi nga you will only notice if once you have seen enough of their vlog. So yeah, it makes but sense we don't know. I'm looking on the chat. They said it's Ken. Um, yeah, Ken Stell. Okay, let's. What do you think? Stell, yeah, Ken Stell. I think it's Ken. Because right. si Ken ay laking uh, probinsya, so baka wala masyadong mga roller coaster doon. All right, let's reveal the answer. 
So oh, yes, okay. It's, <laughs> it's definitely Ken. Ken has uh, acrophobia or fear of oh, he- heights. So okay. um, it, it it kind of is ironic because he's really good in flips, backflips, and can really go high. But yeah. He's, He's very scared of roller coasters and rides, so he easily gets dizzy. So, ayun. Um, ah, pwede ko siyang sa, samahan. Sa taas. <laughs> pwede, Parang pwede. Parang takot niya. <laughs> There was one vlog na nag-roller coaster sila after noon. Parang nakuha nun siya ng kaluluwa talaga. <laughs> oh, tal- oh yeah. I should watch You will that. see. Time, time will will uh, will tell na okay. ma abot naman yung vlog na yun. <laughs> Nasa right. show break nine pa lang ako eh. Na, anako, a long way to go, but you you'll uh, get there. <laughs> yeah. All right, next one. Let's see what we got next. Hmm. This is okay. Bakit? <laughs> Bakit? Bakit? Uh. Oh my god. My brain cells are like the 18 in the live chat are also having some trouble. And shout out to all y'all. You're we are 400 people watching right now. Oh my oh lord. My. It's a lot of us right now. Shout out to everybody. I would say it's Josh. <laughs> okay. The live chat is really confused. So Okay. Uh, thank you guys for sharing the confusion with me. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm making you think, guys. Okay, let me reveal it. It's actually Justin. So, oh. let me explain. So, there's multiple contexts dito. So, nung nag-vlog si Stel, and he was reading questions from his friends, one of the friends were Justin. And Justin's question was one word. Bakit? And then Justin as well is also fond of making corny jokes. And most of the time, yung, yung oh, response yeah. ng mga tao is, What? What did you say? <laughs> yun na yun? Joke ba yun, Justin? So, yun. So, th- that's why it's Justin. Alright? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Pinahirapan tayo ni Kuya Chuck sabi ni Black J. Oh, fake fans lang talaga kayo. Eh. Joke lang. Joke lang. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, Jojo's Bizarre Our Adventure. So, okay. <laughs> Naku, oh, oh, I don't my think God. you will be able to answer this. <laughs> yeah, I would just guess. <laughs> All right, eighteen are like very engaging here. Josh, Pablo, Pablo? Um, Stel, Ken. Oh, me- they are confused as well. You think Pablo? Yeah, I think Pablo. All right, Pablo. Let's go ahead and reveal the answer. Yes, oh, it's okay. absolutely Pablo. So there was one vlog that they had when they actually interacted with a with a what do you call this? A psychic, uh, someone who can hypnotize people. So SB19 got hypnotized, and he hypnotized Pablo uh, to replace his name as Jojo. So, Pablo actually believed that his name was Jojo. So, it, it was really funny. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. I should see like, that. It's a bit creepy, but, you know, it, it was an interesting vlog of them. So, nakakatuwa. Nakakatuwa talaga siya. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, isa sa mga pangalan niya, Jojo. And, uh, maliban pa doon, meron ding Ate Chona, meron ding Pablo Sejun. So, oh, yeah. okay. Na- so, I know the Sejun and the Ate Chona, but I never heard about the Jojo. Yes. <laughs> now you know. So Now I know. <laughs> Every day is a learning day. Yeah. All right. Next one. Ooh, who's this? Ooh, it's Sino to uliran na anak. <laughs> Justin? Let's see. Well, Pwede what the si... this... is si... Ah, okay. So I'll just say Justin. Or, oh my God, lahat naman sila ulirang anak. <laughs> may bukas pa. I was looking kasi yung mukha nitong artista na bata na to. Eh. Parang yung kanyang aura resembles Justin. Kaya parang biglang pumasok sa akin si Justin. Yung parang inosente, parang ano lang, parang, okay. parang sobrang masunurin, gano'n. So, 
But I don't know. I was right. looking somebody was answering Stell, so I would I am trying to connect this with uh Stell, but I don't know. I'll go for Justin. Oh, okay, Justin. Let's see. It's actually Stell. So. Oh, Stell. <laughs> so Stell is very fond of uh, making Santino or uh, the Mind Bukas pa references on his vlog. So I don't. I'm not sure if you've seen some of his vlogs, but he likes using Santino as his memes. So yeah, oh, kaya don nagaling okay. yon. <laughs> si Junard, exactly. Live chat. Okay. So do we have the next one? Do we have more? Let's see. Oh, there's one more. One more, last one. So this is this is an anime called Kuro Chan. So um, this is pretty o- obvious for 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 some diehard fans, but um, I'm not sure about oh my you. God. It's okay. I would understand. I would understand if you don't know this, because it's a medyo ano siya. I need help, guys. So <laughs> a lot of people are saying Ken. Oh my God, I love Ken, but I don't know this. I'll go for Ken. <laughs> All right. So, Ken. Let's see. Yes, it's actually Ken. So, Ken loves anime. Um, and he has a cat named Kuro. And the name oh, of that anime is Kuro-chan. Okay. He also calls his cat Ko- Kuro. So, that's that's the main context of, of that clue. So, yes, it's absolutely Ken. All right. So, that's it. That yeah. little bit... <laughs> you survived? <laughs> I, yeah, I survived. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> thank you for helping. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much helping. for you helping know what, JR. It's, a, it's also very, like, I would say a great um, experience, um, like, uh, collaborating with your audience. Because I learned a lot from SB19 by just reading comments on the videos yeah. that I am creating. So, I really love the 18. I think they're really knowledgeable. I mean, uh, you can go around by just reading their comments. So I appreciate yeah. all of you guys. True. They they edu- they educate you in in a way. Yeah. So well, you learn a lot right now. So yeah. Be- before we proceed to questions, guys, I want to show you um, Jr's talents. All right. Oh. So. <laughs> I will never ever let that pass. So let's go ahead and witness, be amazed by the talented JR, you guys. Here we go. Okay, tagal ko nang naghihinta oh, yes. Na sa akin ay mag-aalay Nang pag-ibig na tunay At di magwawakas That's a tough song to sing. Falsetto, man. Ang ibigin ka Ang ibigin ka Oh, my G. Yes, that was so Ooh. good. That was so good. Nice one. Oh, ikala mo makalagpas to, ha? Di man ako para oh. sa'yo Ang puso'y di I love this. I watch this. Oh 
I enjoy this so much. Sa puso ko, ika'y nag-iisa Mali ba na ako'y umaasa? Tama bang nadarama? Yes. Para sa'yo, Sinta Bakit nga ba, bakit nga ba, bakit nga ba mahal kita? Kung sa puso I love this song. ay mayroon na I love iba Unti-unting lunurin ang aking nadarama O buhos na ulan, huwag nang tumila pa Paano na ba You remind me of Eric Santos Oh my God! It, it is not the first time I've heard it. <laughs> it sounds a lot like Eric Santos. Alright! Nice. That was so good! Thank you so much for sharing your talent to all of us, JR. You are so talented. Grabe. I, if I if only I can sing like that, no. Well, so, you can try now. <laughs> you can try now. <laughs> no way, I'm not a singer. I rap, but I I really can't sing. So <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for for sharing that with us. Uh, for being an open book, I really appreciate it so much. So I want to go back to uh, questions. I want people to know you more. So um, I want to start with uh, some light questions here. Um, what is your favorite movie, if you have one? Oh, my favorite movie is, um, I don't know if you know this one, uh, Moulin Rouge. Okay. Um, I, that, was, that sounds I, familiar, actually. Yeah, it's a, actually a musical um, yung setup niyan is a European uh, country by Nicole Kidman and uh, Ewan McGregor. Oh man, this is really a critically acclaimed film. Kakatingin ko lang ngayon. So, it, yeah, it looks good. Wow. Yeah, it's a musical and I really love yung kanilang mga, uh, yung mga song choices niya rito, yung story behind, napakalalim ng story nito. Eh. Pero, they are like um, interpreting the movie in a way of songs. So I really love this uh, this movie. I've watched it over and over and over. Yung mga lines nila, especially yung last part na, na parang uh, binaril na dyan si uh, Nicole Kidman. Um, it was it was like one of the one of, for me one of the best movie I have watched, and I really love yung yung talent ng mga um, actors and actresses dito. And Nicole Kidman is yeah. so so gorgeous. Oh my she lord, she is. Oh Grabe. my god, she is. Grabe. so perfect. Oh wow, thank you. So uh, you remind you remind me a little bit of uh, of of um, Luis Portales. He's into musical stuff as well, so really oh, nice. okay, nice. Okay, so how about a uh, favorite TV show if you have one? Medyo mahilig ako sa ano eh. Or TV uh, sa lo- local local shows, ang usually uh-huh. pinapanood ko it bulaga lang eh. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Batang Itbulaga. So, yeah, isa yun sa mga isa yun sa mga pampalipas ko ng oras kahit hanggang dito. Pero nang nakarating na ako ng US, um medyo more on pinapanood ko puro balita na lang. Eh. So, nag nagwo-browse wala naman na dito ng ano, wala akong wala akong Filipino channel. So, yung balita lang then on uh series more on yung mga uh tawag dyan, yung mga challenge yung mga about parang, parang lately nga pinapanood ko puro mga zombies eh, mga zombie ano mga zombie uh themed na mga shows okay all right interesting okay so 
how about favorite food? Let's talk. Let's talk about food. Like you know, Pinoy ka pero nasa US ka. Ha, are you still able to eat Filipino food or? Ah, oh, oh. yung tinitirahan ko dito sa US. So shout out. Yeah, they're all Filipino. Sa Kapasha family, chef wow. siya dito. At Ooh! sarap magluto. Yeah, buong family ay nakapag magluto. Yeah! So, <laughs> thank you so much. Parang everyday fiesta with Filipino food. So, wow. um, really thank you. Thank you sa kanila. Kasi nga, yun, before kasi parang lahat ng lulutuin mo, prito-prito lang eh. So, ngayon, nakakaluto na, nakakain na ako lagi ng lutong bahay. Nice. At ano ang pinakapaborito mong food? Sa um, like, Pinoy food. Ang paborito ko talaga yung ihaw-ihaw eh. Yung Ooh. mga yung mga um, Adidas, yung mga ganyan, yung mga um, tungol yung tawag na yun, yung mga bituka ng babo. Oh my God, sorry guys. Ha. <laughs> mga so, ex- isa, mga so, exotic. <laughs> uh, yung mga paborito ko, yan. Pero yung sa sa mismong um, meat naman, ang pinaka-favorite ko, ano talaga, hipon talaga, shrimp talaga. Nice. Shrimp is really nice. Uh, sarap. Hindi yeah. ako magsasawa pagdating sa shrimp. Pero oh. since nasa US ka na, I'm sure you tried US delicacy. So what's your favorite US food? Like American um, food? Ano, yung steak talaga ang ang, oh. ang, ang wow. paborito ko sa mga US food. Yeah, Kasi parang solid. sobrang hindi ko alam na sobrang saglit lang pala niyang lutuin. No? Nung dito ko lang siya na natikman. Kala ko nga, parang before, kara, parang Parang kakaiba kapag ka nagbi-medium rare na mga na mga steak sabi ko, oh, may mga dugo-dugo pa ganyan. Pero nung dito, no, nakakain na ako. Mas masarap pala siya pag yung mga ganun lang yung loto sa kanya. I have not, I've never tried a medium rare. Uh, so, ewan ko kung saan makakain dito sa Pilipinas niyan. Pero I'm, maybe if I get the time, I will try. Pero grabe. Dream, isa sa mga dream food ko. Um, steak. American yeah, steak. ang sarap niya, ang sarap niya, ang sarap niya. Parang may specific lang na part na ano eh, na ginagawang steak eh. All right, cool. Thank you for answering that. So, um, let's talk about your music, you know, taste. Like you like SB19 obviously and uh, uh-huh. OPM, but can you be more specific? Like what other music do you like? I just love uh, ballads and I was I was like so open to that. So anything na ballad, yung mga soft melody, yung mga medyo hugot-hugot, yung mga medyo, yung ganun lang. Ewan ko, so, siguro maramdaming tao ako, no, kaya ganun. Kaya <laughs> Likas yun sa mga, mga Pilipino. <laughs> oh, actually, actually, talaga. Pero hindi ko nga alam, eh, nung narinig ko na nagra-rap na si, ano, si Pablo, oh my God, I got into like, parang gusto ko na rin yung, yung ganun, ano, yung ganun tema. Okay, but um, I wanted to explore more about music. Pero sa ngayon talaga, may ang paborito ko yung mga ballad songs talaga. Nice, nice. And um, a lot of actually older people, like uh, even grandmas and titas, are actually starting to get into rap because of SB19. Kasi nga, That's right! Iba Meron eh. silang ganun. <laughs> may ganun silang factor, mga panghatak factor eh. Yes, exactly. Tsaka, they don't rap about you know drugs sex and all that they rap about that's right that's, and that's right. what i love that's about right. them so you know that's that's just why people are starting to appreciate hip-hop music through sp19 because uh, they are such role models when it comes to right the song no? writing so you don't have to say that f word the s word the p word all no. those words na yung mga kong na masasabi na ano, ano there are also like legit rappers talaga na magagaling din eh. pero parang lalo sa mga underground parang di ba Common exactly. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing your inputs there. I really enjoyed your answer. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, play another game. All right, icebreaker. Yes. Sbnt Joa or Tropa. So let's just put it this way, right? If you have a kid or if you are a girl, in case um, I would show SB19 pictures and uh, you would tell us if this guy if uh, is is a Jawa material or a tropa material. So alam mo naman kung ano yung Jawa tropa, di ba? So Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and start this game. Um let's go ahead and do this picture first. Let's do Justin. So is Justin Jawa or tropa? Oh my god. Sorry Justin, ah, pero Tutropahin ko lang to si Justin. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, kasi ano, parang parang napaka-innocente niya sa akin, ha? Parang parang feeling ko, parang ano, para siya yung church boy, yung 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 ganoon, parang hindi mahulugang karayo mo, oh, hindi mahulugang karayo mo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tropa. Okay, understandable, ano, may pagka-innocent vibes kaya ganoon. Oo. Uh, Tsaka good boy. All right. Next one. Pablo. Si Pablo for me ay trotropahin ko. Parang feeling ko kasi magkakasundo kami dito pag ano eh, pag collaborate sa mga mga bagay-bagay. Like alam ko napaka napaka wild ng kanyang imagination, yung kanyang craftsmanship. So parang feeling ko pag meron kaming gagawing project ay eh, talaga magje-jive kami. So trotropahin ko lang to si ano, si Pablo. Okay, that's great. You can easily, you feel like you can easily connect with him as a friend. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and check the next guy, Stel. Oh, my G. <laughs> oh, in the picture. Oh. Pero sorry, Stella. Si Stel siguro tutropahin ko and then jojowain ko after. Pwede ba yun? <laughs> <laughs> Get to know muna, no? Oh, uh, develop... <laughs> I like that. I like the way you did it, huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, tropa muna think, and then... Yeah, jo, bakit? Just, pa- okay. Ano, as, as of the moment, nag, uh, ano, nagpa-flashback talaga sa akin. Kasi siya yung unang-unang pinakita dun sa Bazinga na... na, ano, na performance nila sa Wish Bus. Oh my God! He was just like so ang napakagwapo niya doon sobrang as in parang I I just can't uh, say the exact description pero super hot talaga ng dating niya doon sa 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 wish bus nila. All right. Cool. Okay, that definitely justifies it. How about this next guy right here? Ken I well ito napaka ito pinakamadaling sagutin. Syempre si Ken ay aking jojowain. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now we're talking. Okay. <laughs> bakit? Jojo-wa-in. Bakit? Um since mga kung kung siguro ko naging babae ako no. Since sa mga gusto kong mga um attributes ng mga guys na kay Ken, yung parang mysterious tapos uh yung laking probinsya mga tawag diyan mga mga laking probinsya yung yung kasi gusto ko parang magsettle down lang sa ano eh sa sa farm yung tatanda wow. na may kasama ka lang na na yung 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 parang one person para sa iyo tatanda kayo sa uh, mga nature ganyan nagpapakain ng mga manok baka kambing kalabaw elepante whatever so, I <laughs> elepante think, <laughs> so, I, I love si that Ken. yeah all right Saka material Very... nito ni Ken Jojoa ini eh. yes wow S- simple life that's my dream life as well i mean pag tumanda kami na miss ko i'm really looking forward to going to the countryside and just you know getting all there together so yeah it's a dream. yeah it's such a dream so really nice good good that's a really nice uh goal right there you have so okay ken Sana is jojo wine no? <laughs> oh don't malay mo sometimes si pablo <laughs> nagdrop by sa chat oh my God. Minsan yun. so okay let's go ahead and how about josh <laughs> oh my god Jojoain ko to talaga. <laughs> Jojoain pala talaga. Okay. <laughs> Jojoain to si Jojoain to si Josh. Eh. <laughs> Bakit? Uh, oh my god, he is just so hot. Ang ang gusto ko kay Josh, alam mo, kahit na parang pagkakausapin mo siya, lagi kanyang tititigan sa mata. Yung yung tutunawin kanya sa tingin lang. Kahit kausap niya mga SB19 member, talagang hahanapin niya yung mata mo. Yung kapag hindi kayo talaga nag-eye contact, hahanapin niya yung mata mo. Tapos bibigyan kanya yung parang yung parang malamlam na mata, yung parang pa, parang oh. pa na mata. Oh, nakikita ko lagi sa kanya 'yan eh. So, ah. I would nice. easily fall to this guy. Kaya jojowain ko 'yan. 
Alright, Jojo Ain. Saka, um, the way he uh, looks at people, iba talaga yung karisma niya. Kasi nakita ko siya in so, person. Kakaiba. Oh, Kakaiba oh yung mga tingin niya. <laughs> Grabe. Alright. That's uh, some really interesting um, answers right there. So, uh, sana all my abs. So, sana all my abs. Exactly. Um, so, Bias reveal na ba ito na joke ni ka? Or... <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see. I, I am actually planning to make a content sa pag-reveal ng bias. Pero sa totoo lang, no, ang hirap mamili. Kasi okay. sa lima sa kanila, parang there's always something in their personality na makakakonek ka eh. It's either their talent, their personality, their charisma, or whatever it is that they have. Parang meron palaging something na mahata kay. Tapos every time na meron ako mapapanood na videos nila, there's always something that I love about for a specific person na alam mo parang nasa gitna ako. Tapos merong limang nakahawak ng lubid. Parang each of them are like pulling you at the same time para pumunta ka sa kanila. Hindi ko na alam kung saan bahay ako titira eh. Kung True. Ano pa eh. Okay. Well, I respect that so for now. So so far, isa ka bang mahalima. So let's let's leave it at that for now kasi nga they can really be confusing. I mean, hihilain ka talaga kung saan saan. Actually, nako-confuse na rin nga ako eh kung <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, really cool. So, merong in-demand na request dito sa live chat. So, pagbigyan ko na. Ito, Joa or Tropa? <laughs> oh my God! Is that you, Chuck? <laughs> That's... <laughs> I don't know. Ano lang, tambay lang yun sa gilid. <laughs> oh, shucks. Jojoain to. Jojoain Jojo- to. <laughs> oh my God! Jojo... <laughs> Pero <laughs> pinamisa na ko doon ah. Bakit naman Jojo Wain? <laughs> Pag naman ganyan ang humiga sa tabi mo, hindi mo pa ba Jojo Wain yan? <laughs> <laughs> oh right. my God. You okay, are so napa- hot here, Chuck. <laughs> oh, grabe, grabe. Napaubo oh, ka doon ah. Pinapawisan ako ah. <laughs> Well, thank you. I guess thank you. Pero um yeah, na pinagbigyan na napasubo lang ako dito sa live chat kasi ang kukulit nila, yun yung nire-request nila. Oh my anyway. god. Those, <laughs> Those were the times. Those were the times na ano pa, wala pang father time si si kuya mo. <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay. Anyway, anyway. So Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little game right there. I hope you did as well, uh, JR. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, so I, I want to move. That. You did? Okay. Yeah. There's more games. We have a couple more to play here. So, let's proceed to SB19 questions real quick first. So, what is your most favorite SB19 reaction you have ever done? Of course, my uh, the very first video that I came across with SB19, yung kanilang um, the performance at the CCP, yung kauna-una kong nireact, yung nagperform sila ng tilaluha and then ng mapa tsaka ng what. Oh my God. I was just like so emotional on that time. Wow. Okay. In many in many levels. The first one, kasi medyo patriotic kasi ako eh. So, yung narinig ko yung kinanta nila yung what? I, I was actually thinking na representative sila ng Philippines before eh. I don't know SB19 before. So, nung nakita ko yung performance na yun, tapos yung kauna-unahan nilang up in form yung, yung what? Tapos yung flag ng Philippines ay nag-wave dun sa likod. I got so emotional na, na merong uh, Filipino music na ganun. So, that time kasi akala ko ay, ano eh, ay representative sila ng Philippines. Hindi ko alam na ano. And then, when they started yung mga dance choreographies nila dun, oh my God, it was just like, they are really Filipino. I mean, it's, in- it's insane how they perform this level. Yung, yung time na yun, ha, na hindi ko pa talaga kailan yung S- SB19. And then, When they sang yung Mapa, it's just like, oh my God, everything just... Mapa is so emotional, not only because it is a, an emotional song for our parents, me being a parent. At the same time, this is so, like, for me, kinanta kasi ito ng anak kong babae sa akin, yung, yung chorus lang niya. So, hindi, doon ko siya unang narinig 
ng kinanta siya. Na sabi ko, ang ganda naman ng kanta na to. And then I was thinking talaga na kanta siya ng Ben and Ben before. Yung kanta Ooh. na yon. Yeah, so that, that was it. That was the defining moment. So ang daming nag-correct sa akin no, na na sila yung original noon. Kasi I was thinking na it's Ben and Ben tapos parang Picture parang si Oh, oh, oh parang okay. ganun. So ganun yung naisip ko. Oh, parang parang in a year or so parang yun na yung nakabaon sa isip mo eh na na pag naririnig mo siya kanta siya ng ng Ben and Ben so without knowing na this I consider this already a classic eh. I mean in generations to come like like 50 years from now 100 years from now this will still be played this song will still be played and every time na naririnig ko tong kanta na to I just it just always like Uh, break me into pieces. Sobrang mapanak, Same. sobrang mapanood, napakaganda ng pagkakalatag ng melody, napakaganda ng pagkakalatag ng lyrics, and the message is set itself. Oh my God! Eh, kasi ang mga Pilipino tayo ay masyadong connected sa ating mga parents. Eh. At it's it's just like I so love my 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 parents, and yeah. So tong kanta na to talaga. That's why this. First performance. Saka dito din ako nag ano eh, dito rin ako nag nag trending eh. Parang in a day, parang I got a lot of um yung mga estudyante ko sa public school. Sir, nakita ko kayo sa TikTok. Sir, nakita ko kayo sa Twitter. So, <laughs> ala, and then yeah, and, and the rest is history already. So Aww. I really love my very first reaction uh with SB19. But you know what? Every reaction video that I did for SB19 is always my favorite. It's always my favorite. Um, SB19 doesn't know how they help me cope up with um, yung boredom, with um, inspiration as well. So, I, I really love SB19. Not only that they perform very well, they represent the Philippines very well. At the same time, they create so amazingly great music that any type of person can easily relate with all right that's absolutely facts right there 100 i couldn't agree more my reaction to the round festival as well was so emotional when they uh, nung nagkanta pa lang sila ng what wala na umuhuhug na ako tumutulo na si pon ko so, oh my god sobrang proud ko grabe sa hanggang sa tilaluha oh. nung tilaluha na nako bumaba ko yung, na ako yung grabe. tilaluha first time ko siya <laughs> yak daw na yak Oh really? Wow. No, first time ko siya You're very young doon. as an 18. Grabe. Ah, sobra talaga. Tapos <laughs> nung narinig ko na silang nag-harmony, ay oh my god. Like these are legit talents. These are legit. Yes. So uh, it's it's that that is a defining moment for me that I started standing SP19. Yeah. That's facts right there. Wow. Well, Thank you so much for sharing that experience you had, the best reactions around festival. And I think, in my opinion, that's the best performance ever. Live with, you know, everything. Sobrang galing nila doon, lalo na yung pagka-mix ng kanta. Sobrang rinig yung voices nila isa-isa. Rinig na rin oh, sila lahat. Oh, tama. That's so right. So it's, it's really, really good. So which, well, I think you've, yeah, you mentioned this many times now. Which SB19 member can you relate to the most? I think it's Josh, right? Yeah, it's Josh. The, It's yeah. Josh. I really, I really relate to Josh, and I would like to speak also in behalf of all those people. Because, um, minsan, minsan, Chuck, it's it's not the matter of um, natapos ka ng maaga. Eh. Uh, what really matters is tinapos mo ko ano yung laban mo sa buhay. Eh. So, parang uh, like in my case, no, parang it don't matter to me na anymore na hindi ako nakagraduate ng maaga. Eh. Ang importante, gumawa ka ng paraan para makagraduate ka. Kasi yun isa yun sa mga gusto mong gawin. Eh. So when I um, came across with that uh, Josh vlog na nalaman ko na Alsha, oh my God, talagang it's just everything, lahat ng admiration ko kay Josh. Kasi alam ko kung ano gano'ng kahirap maging um, Al's graduate. Not only because of the program itself, pero yung yung stigma sa iyo being out of school youth being parang wala ka sa school para nakita mo yung mga kasama mong mga bata na dapat kasama mong pumapasok sa school tapos ikaw hindi kasi i, I just remembered everything that happened to me um, there are times na kasi na hindi ko hindi ko na hindi ko na nabanggit dito nung as early as probably around 10 or 11 nagtitinda na ako ng plastic sa palengke ng paranyake 
alam mo ini-scam ko yung mga namamalengke. Meron dong meron dong isang tindahan sa gitna ng palengke ng Paranaque na um nagpapautang siya ng sando bag. Pero ibabalik mo. Parang around 36 pesos if if I remember correctly. Pero 100 pieces siya tapos mabebenta mo siya ng piso. Kasi ang ginagawa namin pag may nakita kaming mga namamalengke na may mga dalang mga yung samot-saring mga sando, ah, mga yung labo na plastic. Ipapasok mm-hmm. agad namin yung sa sando bag para para bilhin na talaga nila ng piso. Piso pa lang yan by that time eh. So wow. k- kailangan mo kasi mag-ano eh, kailangan mo kasi magtrabaho, kailangan mong kailangan mong kumita. So at very early age parang wala kang choice eh, wala kang ibang option eh. So ramdam ko talaga yung yung struggles ni ni Josh by that time kasi naranasan ko din siya nag nagtinda ako sa palengke ng plastic sa bulungan ng paranyake nag nagtutulungan ako sa mga nagbababa ng isda para makakuha ko ng mga isda rin na na pwede kong iuwi sa bahay tsaka ibenta tapos at the same time uh, sa Sampaloc before nagtinda rin ako diyan ng bopis alam mo yung bopis yung tinutuhog-tuhog siya na sinasaw sa piniprito siya sa kawali Tapos, yes. nakatuhog-tuhog siya, nabaga siya ng baka. 12 a.m. ng hating gabi, pumunta na ako ng Farmer's Cubao um, para mamili ng baga ng baka. 20 kilos yan, uh, tag 10 kilos. Sobrang bata ko pa nun, para mga 13, ganyan, 13 years old. Then, pag uwi ko ng bahay, yung tatay ko, siya naman yung mag, mag-gagayat niyan. Matutulog na ako nun, mga 3 ng madaling araw. Kasi gising ako ng 5 para pumasok. Nung data yung POST rin kasi ako eh, parang, parang ang taas din ng demand na nasa science school ka na nung nag-aaral ako. Tapos papasok ako ng 6 ng umaga, paglabas ko ng 4 ng hapon, dederecho ako ng sampalok para ako yung humalili sa tatay ko para magtinda ng bopis. So yun talaga yung ano, no? yung, yung, I don't say it's just my experience, parang yung mga common ng mga Filipino na talagang nasa, we would say nasa letter D or letter B ng uh, economical status, parang you will always find ways eh, para hindi lang, hindi, hindi actually para mabuhay eh, para lang makasurvive sa araw na to eh. Parang yun yung, yeah. yun yung buhay namin ngayon eh. So I really connected with Josh and I salute all those people na talagang Um, wala sila ngayon pero they still continue studying by um, committing to ALS as an alternative kasi nga hindi nila kayang mag everyday alam mo yung demand kahit public school ka yung demand sa public school projects pamasahe pambaon um, and a lot more no na kailangan so um, Josh really is the member that I really connected with All right. Very, very well said. Thank you so much. And you know what? Josh is also the one I connected the most as well. Kasi nga, um, uh, he was able to, when he tried to get into the call center scene, um, he couldn't get in kasi nga high school graduate lang siya. So what he did is he actually faked his uh, college degree and he got in. And then oh. I actually did a similar thing and I got in and, you know, Uh, the rest is history. Parang naging call center na ako na hanggang, hanggang ngayon, call center pa rin. So, um, tsaka yung mga... Nag-call center din ako. Oh! Wow! Parang six months lang. Kasi after six months, parang yung transition ko from college to um, working as a teacher. So, habang hinihintay ko yung, ano, yung mga application, ng call center ako sa Makati, parang six months. Yung day ng regularization ko is also the day na kailangan ko magpirma ng kontrata. So, I have to decide kung magtuturo na ba ako or ipagpapatuloy ko yung pagiging call center agent. Well, and you did the right decision. Look at you now. So, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, Shane. it's... it's It's actually I always believe na parang ano parang plinano yan ni, ni God eh. parang parang ganoon yung lagi kong inanticipate sabi ko there are times na parang nagde-drive lang ako ubiya ako sabi ko uh, napakaswerte ko tsaka napakabait sa akin ni Lord kasi parang lahat ng mga struggles binigay niya na sa akin before nung bata ako parang pinalakas kanya eh tapos na parang lahat parang easy na lang parang okay na lahat ganun All right, awesome. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Shout out to Ari watching right now, Re TV. Shout out to you, uh, 18 from Ita- Italy. So shout out. <laughs> Thank you for watching, Ari. Learning Tagalog na siya. Okay. All wow. right. <laughs> so, um, if you get to sing with SB19, 
in a karaoke session, what three songs, non SB19 songs, do you want to sing with them? Okay. So, I would choose yung one of my favorite song, the Michael Bolton, na How Am I Supposed to Live Without You. Yeah. How does the song go? Diko, parang, I can hardly believe it when I heard the news today. Ooh, I had to okay. Call and get it straight from you. Nice. Diko talaga alam yung mga titles ng song. Okay, what's the second song? The second song is uh, dedicated to uh, my Lola. Favorite song niya to, The Song Hanggang by Wensi Cornell. Oh, wow. Stell would like kill that song. Oh, oh my god, yeah. I can only imagine. Bro, that is so crazy. You know? It is. Man, Stell. Grabe. He's gonna nail that song so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I would love Pablo. to sing it with, uh, with Stell. Nice. Hanggang. Okay. What's the, thir- what's the third song? Um, the third song that I would like the SB19 to sing with me is um, uh, I forgot the name of the song. It, it's already crossed in my mind. Kinanta siya sa sa X Factor. Eh. Wait lang. Actually, kinanta namin siya ng ng anak ko. Eh. Nakalimutan ko yung title. I'll just I'll just I'll just brush over with that one. Siguro the next song that I would like to um. SB19 sing with me is yung Noi P um, to uh, represent naman yung aking pagiging uh, Pilipino with uh, the SB19 being Pinoy as well. Oh, Noi P by Bamboo? Yep. Hoy, Pinoy ako! That's yes. right. I love that song. Oh man, they are oh, gonna... Oh, you can sing, Chuck! You can sing it, Yeah. Chuck. <laughs> 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 no, I mean... It's gonna. They, they will really also do that song very good. Because I'm not sure if you've seen them perform "Hallelujah" by Bamboo before. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, did. yung para parang last week ko siyang nereact. Pero tatlo lang, tatlo lang sila, de ba? Sa so, tatlo lang sila, yes. Oh, Stel yeah, so and. Yun uh, yun. Stelken oh, nag- and uh, nagulat Justin. Nagulat ako dun sa rap part nila dun. Yeah, so they, they, could probably, they could probably love to sing that as well. Yes, Pinoy. Noi P. That, that would be great to see. Grabe na. Namimiss ko na yung mga cover song nila actually. Yung SB19. Medyo matagal na. And I think they stopped doing covers because the copyright rules sa YouTube medyo naging strict na. So, that could be the reason. Ay, yung isang anyway. song pala na hindi ko mabanggit is uh, Jealous. If you know that song, do you know that jealous? song? Jealous? Yeah. How, how, how does it go? All this world could give And I told you Parang parang ganun yung melody niya. Oh, okay. Hindi ko siya... Yeah, hindi ko siya kami sa... Pero you, you, can, you, can, you can search for that. Parang jealous siya by I'm jealous of the wind Parang ganun yung ano niya. Cause I wish you all. Okay. Parang ganon yung ganon yung ganon yung ano niya. I really love that song. Ano na cover ko siya before? Ah, uh, parang three years ago. So I really love that song. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Oi, my two fifty pesos from PJ and from Ultima. Thank you so much for donating. Si Ultima naman nag request na sample lang kanta ni Chuck. Anong gusto niyong kantahin ko? Wag na guys. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> wag na, wag na. <laughs> I don't know any song other than SB19 songs and rap songs, guys. So, um, yeah, I'll think of something, okay? Before maybe before we end the stream, Ultima, okay? But thank you for the two fifty, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe kayo. You're putting me on the spot, guys. That's that's bad, okay? <laughs> okay. So, three songs. Actually, you gave me four. That's that's really good. Thank you. So, if you meet SB19, what will you tell them? Oh, well, like, first and personally. foremost, yeah, I just want to say thank you to them for um, bringing us their music. Uh, bringing us their good vibes and um, bringing us their stories. I say their musics are their music are worth um, 
uh, listening with na parang in any type of situation you are with there's always one SB19 song that you can always uh, listen to so hindi lang siya palaging senti hindi lang siya palaging hugot there are also some songs that are encouraging motivating so they have these types of different blends of song that you can always listen with so i would like to say thank you to them for um also um putting the filipino music um on top like at least yeah. in the pedestal to say that is something that you know filipino talents is just one of a kind in the world i would say that and so it is so interesting why uh, it's so hard to penetrate the international scene uh, given na uh, sobrang gaganda ng mga talent natin sa mga sa mga talent search nila they always upload the filipino uh, talents pero there's no like super super specific talaga na talent na talagang nakapag-penetrate globally eh. so um i know step by step sb19 will be able to make it and penetrate that way because they are actually starting to and they have started to already so i would just say thank you for them for always um putting on their background yung pagiging pilipino nila kasi parang ay na feel ko palagi eh na even they 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 sang the basinga yung yung texture niya is so international but there's always line there na uh, it would definitely tell you oh this is a filipino song kasi nagiinject sila ng ng filipino uh, ng tagalog language sa mga kanta nila so i just want to say thank you to them and of course na hindi ako makikilala ang Mr. JR React without the SB19 music Yes. All right. Giving back and uh, giving the credit when it's due. That's really appreciative of you. Thank you so much. So, if you have all the money in the world, what's the craziest thing you can do or buy for SB19? For SB19, a private plane or a yacht. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, doon lang kami. Uh, sorry, Chaka. Sosolohin ko sila. <laughs> okay. Kailangan, mala- yeah. kailangan malayo kami sa lahat kasi alam mo naman dudumugin kami. Okay, so it's either we are up in the air or nasa gitna kami ng karagatan para mahirapan kang sundan kami doon. Oh, all right. <laughs> A little bit selfish, but okay. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't have given you the all the money in the world pala. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Napaka You already took advantage of it. So, okay. I like that. Pri- private plane and uh, yacht. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, you don't want to give them any, um, like anything. You want to give them an experience. Kung baga, ganun na lang. Yeah. And, so, mag- you know, mag- up- lang kami doon. Mag-jajamin lang kami doon. Uh, inom okay. lang kayo ha. Pag, alam niyo naman, pag may alak, may balak. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Magsasagwan tayong 18 papunta sa inyo. <laughs> so, <laughs> good luck okay. sa good luck sa private plane kung paano niyo pupuntahan. <laughs> <laughs> Magaano daw sila maghahaplas na sila ng ano para maging manananggal po lalilipad daw sila. <laughs> Oy, lalampas kami ng lalampas kami ng stratosphere. Ang ben, ang lugar namin mga moon o kaya Mars ganon. Oh wow. <laughs> Bumili na ng spaceship. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, that was, that's very very creative. I love that. The chat is having fun. <laughs> All right. That's some interesting situations right there you came up with JR thank you for sharing that so because of that i want to play another icebreaker so this time i want you to guess the SB19 song in one second so i don't i'm not sure if you have already seen lahat ng ano lahat ng uh, songs nila or heard lahat ng songs nila but just no. you know okay that's absolutely fine just uh play along with it and um I'm sure you'll have fun. You can take a look at the live chat if you need some help. It's absolutely fine. I would like right, to so- test my, uh, no, my skills here. All right. I like that. Okay, the competitive spirit. Okay, let's go ahead and start this thing. Oh, not this one yet. Would you rather? This is for later. Where is my guest, the SP90 song? Okay, here we go. Found it. Let's go. Hold on. 
I have Bazinga in the background. Sorry about that. Okay. Again. Let's go. Uh, live it up. Live it up. Okay. Let's see. Yes, it is. You got it. sa akin sa nung nireact ko siya yung sa Acer nila medyo isa to sa yeah. mga linya na nag-struck sa akin eh yes absolutely i love that song sounded like a not, it doesn't it didn't sound like a commercial it sounded like yeah. a it's actual like a full, single uh, yeah actual single yes oh it's just like the the Dunkin donuts yeah uh, i think uh, I, don't yeah, know, I, mean, i don't know the title Uh, it's the Merry Munchin, I know. Pero hindi ko alam kung yun yung title niya. Uh, okay. You think Merry Munchkin? A, uh, I think it's a Merry okay. Munchkin. All right. Let's see. You're actually right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yun yung title niya, Merry Munchkin. You got it. Yung ano, Dunkin' Donut, ano niya. Yun pala yung title mismo. Yes. Oh, oh. Oh. What you do? Oh my god, but no wala sa akin yung title. <laughs> oh my god. Uh Basinga. Oh my god. All right. Let's see if you're right. Yes, it definitely yeah. is Basinga. You got it. Basinga. Hey, galing. Right, next one. Oh my G. Oh my G. This is difficult. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've seen this yet or heard this, but yeah, it's a little bit tough. No mu uh no no vocals, just music. So you can look at the live chat if you want. <laughs> mm, no, I won't look. <laughs> you can try, it's okay. I mean, you can try ah, guessing. Na nga, na ako. No stopping you. Ah, hindi ko pa to narinig. Ah, uh, that makes sense. All right, ah, I'll, I'll okay. give it to you. I'll give it to you. It's really a cool song. Our love yours. Keep on running. Keep on running. Keep on dreaming. Keep up your desire. Put your heart in all the things you do. That Is was this so a commercial? Good. Um no, it's uh it's actually a theme song for a movie sa oh, sa, ano, okay. sa film, uh, Manila Film Fest. So the song is all about struggles and overcoming them. It, you would relate to the song um a lot if you check it out. May enjoy mo siya. It's really that, will, the I lyrics will. are really nice. Okay, next one. Oh, this one is also new. You haven't even they haven't even released it yet so um they just released a teaser of this song they performed it in the concert and they uploaded a teaser sa SB19 official it's like one of their future upcoming disco songs so oh yeah. okay yeah. so it's okay if you don't if you didn't uh, uh, if you yeah. don't know this surrender <laughs> Oh my god. So that's that's what we have so far as a teaser but the song as a whole I saw it live. It was so good. It's like a billboard thing, uh something that can compete with the uh, With the giants in the international music industry, so it's oh really good. Oh my god! I would sounds love like a to Bruno Mars song. Yeah, I. Uh, sana i release nila to soon. <laughs> Grabe, sobrang excited na ako. So it's called Why at W Y A T or Where You At. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Title. Okay. Yeah, do you really like word wordplay? Sana sa ma-release na. Yes, man. Oh. 
Um, can you can you repeat it? Absolutely, absolutely. One more. Alab. Okay. Yes, it's definitely Alab. Got it. Good job. It's really good, yes. Very catchy. Oh, okay. The music video is also very, very nice. Very artsy. Very good. Okay, let's check the next one. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. No music, no vocals, but... Uh, it's one of the most iconic that's... moments. Oh, that's what I think. Yeah, yeah. That's what? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, yeah. the elevator scene with Josh. What? 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 Pag narinig ko tong what na to, naalala ko yung yung nakatirik yung mata ni Josh na puti lang lahat. Yes. <laughs> yung talaga yung, yung nag-aano sa akin eh. Yes. Na- iconic talaga yung part na yun, Part ni Josh. Mm. Oh, I love Josh. Yeah, man. Alright, next one. Okay. Ooh. Manananggal. Okay. That... Nakarinig lang ng awol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Mana. sure if you reacted to this yet, but um, yeah, let's let's try. I think you've oh, heard this song already. I think you've heard this song already. One more. Okay. Oh, it's La Luna. Okay. All right. Yeah, People are saying Mana La or La Luna. Okay. Yes, definitely La Luna. Oh my God. Yes, you got it. This- Oh my god, this is why I started loving rap music. <laughs> Man, uh, well, that, SB19's that really rap music, kasi nga iba, iba yung rap music nila, kasi nga, super, I mean, it's, it's, super. Really, it's very clean and uh, very artistic as well. They don't yeah, need to curse so to make it sound it badass. So yes, absolutely. All right, so um, I hope you enjoyed that little game right there. I did. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much. 18 looked like they enjoyed. They were so engaging, answering it with you as well. So good job, guys. Thank you for participating. You guys are the best. So um, before we do our next uh, icebreaker, it's time for us to react live. So this is uh, a really funny interview of SB19. Um, this is this interview is known as Gano kakadalas mag ano because it's one of the questions asked with <laughs> asked to them by the interviewers and this is a really really funny uh, interview so I hope you'll enjoy this I in, I did enjoy it watching it alone like uh, privately because when this came out medyo strict pa yata yung ano na bawal mag-react yung mga tao, pero I've seen people react to it already. So, why don't we react to it too? So, let's do this. Let's um, do this. Let's go. So, they're actually doing the... They're actually doing the... What do you call this? Would you rather game? Okay. We'll play this game later as well. So, Horror, suspense, thriller, or comedy rom-com? What do they want? Thriller. Thriller. Right. Ako mas ro- horror rom-com siya. Si- horror, hello, mixed. Pero maganda rin kasi mar- parang mo yan eh. Mga love story dito eh. Tapos pilang magiging wolf siya, kakain siya doon. <laughs> what if ano? What if yung rom-com? Ay ano din, comedy tas horror. Parang ano, scary movie. Ganun, ganun, ganun. Ah, ano. Ah, ah. Funny. Ako, thriller. Ah, okay. Docu-save. 
reality Parang show. Parang gusto ko yung reality show. Reality, reality show. Kasi reality po, show. I think yung, yung daily life namin pwede nang gawing documentary. documentary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ay, reality show. Ah. Yun talaga. Yun talaga. Gagawin talaga natin. Pag gagawa tayo ng challenge, bawal kumain. Bawal talaga ah. dapat kumain. Ganyan. Oh, kaya mo? Oo, oh, kaya mo yun. <laughs> mga sa gubat. <laughs> mga sa gubat. Kaya natin mag-survive oh. for one week. Ako? Parang yun hindi mo makakaya. <laughs> Oo. Oh, Saan ka ba talaga? Kaya nga tayo eh. <laughs> Parang he sounded Robin Padilla dun ah. He did sound like Robin there. Sa voice din, sa kasapunto. Oh, oh, no? Nakakatuwa si Ken. Yes. Dahil lang siguro din sa Bisaya na accent niya. Nakakatuwa. <laughs> okay. What, what was that? AU fanfic na nakasulat na or yung kayo mismo gagawa? Oh, okay. Oh. Siyempre yung kayo mismo, kami kami mismo gagawa. Siyempre. Oh, yeah. sabay-sabay tayo. Ah. Ah, as expected. Ah, hindi, tayo lang. Pwede namang ako magsulat kasi ikaw mag-iisip ng story. Oh, ganun, ganun din. Ikaw magsulat? Sino mag-direct, sino ah. magsusulat. Pili ko po. Ano yung pili ko mixed. po? Mixed. Mixed, mixed. Apo. Ah, ah, mixed okay. po kami. We're all in this together. Yes. All right. Nice. Very creative talaga sila. They want to make their own. Nobody yeah, answered so. a pre-written thing. They want to create on their own. That's really nice. Gusto nila may personal touch talaga sila, you know? Exactly. So ito na yung napaka nakakatawa na part. Kung pati yung mukha mo, ibibiday mo. Kung pati yung mukha mo, ibibiday mo ba? <laughs> Payag ka ba? Gwapo ka. <laughs> Pero may kamay ka dito. Gaano ka pa <laughs> Ha? 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 <laughs> oh, I learned. No, I went to an, an edu.com website. Yun yung pinakalas oh. na pinuntahan ko kagabi. Yes, hardworking. I love that. Okay. Pero joke Last... lang yun, syempre. Oh. <laughs> ano ba talaga? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This Basta is a bit yung, yung, nga. yung last niya merong hub. Alam mo na Okay. Yun. Alright. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <Alak. laughs> Grabe ito. Hello ka dyan. <laughs> Ako, okay, ako pumunta ako ng nag-add to cart ako sa Shopee pambili ng uh, oh. gusto ko bumili ng bumili ng bike para sa mga bata soon. Pero add to cart muna, pag-ipunan muna natin. Okay. Ambayt na naman right. sana all. Wait. <laughs> as a father, I'm sure you're like that as well for yes. your kids. <laughs> all right, next one. Sagutin Bye. natin din. Sino ba? 5 million na Naruto versus Saitama. Sino man na Say tama. <laughs> no. Do you watch anime, JR? Mm, not this, uh, yung mga recent anime. Parang kasi okay. yung panahon ko, yung mga Ghost Fighter, oh. uh, Dragon Ball Z, Slump yes. Dunk. Sa yung, yes. mga, yung mga bago, wala akong masyadong napapanood na eh. Alright, okay. Let's Naruto. just listen to this one then. Mm. Bakit kapag close kayo, open kayo sa isa't isa? Ha? <laughs> <laughs> yan yung mga joke ni Justin eh. Ah, talaga? Magin... Oh, ganyan yung mga joke niya. Ba't pag close kayo, open kayo sa isa't isa? Oo nga naman. Oo nga Wala lang. Ang kulit ng, ka- ng tawa niya. Ganyan ang kit-kit tumawa eh. Wala ko rin yung mga ganyan. Siguro kasi, yun nga, close kayo eh. May isagot pa doon. Isagot pa doon. Kasi nga close open. Pag tinubuhan ka ng ipin sa iyo, ay wala lang. Saan ka pupunta? Sa derma or dentista? Ano klase yung mga tanong? Ikaw, JR, saan ka pupunta pag natubuhan ka ng ipin sa noo? Ano? Wala, magsasariling sikap ako. Alam mo yung sinulid tsaka sa pinto. Ang sisipain yung pinto. Bubunutin mo mag-isa. <laughs> Bubunutin ko siya mag-isa. <laughs> may hiya ka sa dentist. Ayaw mo pag sa dentist. Oo, ayaw okay. ko pakita. O kaya yung okay. sa may aso, itatali mo siya sa katawan ng aso tapos babato ka ng karne sa malayo para biglang tatakbo yung aso. <laughs> <laughs> Ayos eh. Napaka-creative nun ha. Uh, ako, puputa ko sa dentista. Papabunot ko kaagad. <laughs> Tingnan natin kung ano yung sagot mo. <laughs> Sumama ko muna, siyempre. 
Sa mama. Sa mama. Mama, ini pens. Tutot brush mo ba yun? Tutot brush mo ba yun? Oh my god! Ito ang kaya natin. Ang kulit eh. Tutot brush yun. Ano, yung facial wash. Facial wash pa nga yung isa. Ano siya yung ano, yung facial wash. Pag yung pax yun na panis, mahasim ba? Ang nagrabe! Ang pwiting ako! Kainin ko ba kahit anong mangyari? Yun! Ang pagkain lang ha! Ice candy, spaghetti flavor or pancit flavor? What? Ano yun? Ice candy, spaghetti flavor. Medyo doable yung spaghetti. Yeah, medyo doable yun. Pancit weird na. <laughs> Chicken! Cat food! Pusa ka nga eh. Both! Kasi may, may nakita ako na hindi, daw, hindi rin daw ganun ka-healthy sa, sa pusa na kumain lang ng cat food. Hindi minudo? Totoo. Bakit di pwede magpuyat sa umaga? Pwede! Ha? Pwede! Ako nga ganun ako eh. Inabot na ng umaga. Magpuyat pwede. sa umaga? Bakit ang hero plan? Pwede, pwede naman, kunyari. Pwede Baka ba? night shift ka, o, oh, tapos umaga na, di ka pa rin natulog, hindi ah, kuyat ka na. Ah, ano, tama. Ah, diba? <laughs> Alright. Nalipad. Pero ang electric fan, may LEC din, hindi naman nalipad. Kasi may cover po, <laughs> tapos may screw siya sa back and sa front, so kahit ah, umutok ka, hindi siya, hindi siya makakawala. <laughs> Nag-explain talaga si Stel, nakakatawa. Eh, sabi niya, ko, lumipad eh. <laughs> Pag naging ipis ka, Sino sa apat na members una mong dadalaw? <laughs> ano ka multo? Dumilipad <laughs> 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 ka ba hindi? Dadapuan! Kasi si Diyos may hindi matulog. As in talaga wala ka. Ito sa pasok ka sa bibig. Nakakakakak pa naman lagi. Totoo, mahilig talaga matulog si Josh. Tsaka nakanga siya palagi pag matutulog. Tulogin. Tapos minsan kasi, yung dati yung pinakaibos habang tulog siya. Pakainin ka rin. Sa so okay lang sa ipis ka, kakainin ka niya, mamatay ka. Ay, yun lang. Pag naghiya ka ng kain, tapos kumain talaga, ano mararamdaman mo? Okay lang. Mas niyaya ako naman eh. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> po siya. <laughs> Ang kulit oh, ng tanong. <laughs> pag niyaya ka ng kain, tapos kumain nga. Kasi minsan sa atin, pag niyaya, uh, ay, kain tayo. Parang ano lang eh. Parang, Expected na parang, hindi. Oo, oh, oh, hindi, hindi, hindi eh. Tapos, Oo oh, nga, no? Tapos sakto lang yung pagkain para sa'yo. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Siya nag-ayaya. Diba? Nahihiya ako. Actually, nahihiya po ang magsabi pa gano'n. Required ba ang lumpiang Shanghai sa birthday? <laughs> Oo. Pili ko. Kasi para may mabring home yung mga, ano, mga pupunta doon. Eh. Mm -hmm. oh. Tip, paano yung mama? Maging kuripot. Pag ang tao na dati Totoo. ay muling pinasukan ng espiritu, Sabahay, reposes. Ano ba? Reposes. Ano ba? Sino nagtatanong yan? Walay ko dyan sa kanila. Kulit ang mga tanong. Kulit ang mga tanong. Oh my God. Ang kulit ng mga reaksyon nila, bawat tanong, natatawa na lang sila. In a way. Puposesa na lang po. Puposesa. Hindi ko nalang ano yung sasagot ko eh. Ang hirap sagutin yung mga tanong, no? Sa totoo lang, parang... Nakabwisit. Dapat ganyan ang tanong sa mga Miss Universe. The opacity. Oo nga, eh. Makukot off guard talaga sila. Tapos magamit yung witness nila. Gano'n sila ka-witty. Very fun questions. The opacity. Mas gugustuhin mo bang mawala ng ilong o mawala ng ipin? Parang gusto mawala ng ilong. Ipin na lang. Wala akong gusto na. Siguro mawala. Ipin na lang. At least malalasahan mo pa. Magkikip yung senses. Parang wala akong brace. Kasi ilang taon na. Wala ba wala akong ipin? Parang dyan yung brace. Pwede ka naman magpagawa ng postiso. Pero hindi ka pwede magpagawa, magpalagay ng ilong eh. Kung wala kang ilong. Yes. Real talk. That's a really good answer. Pang Miss Universe yun ah. Solid yun ah. <laughs> nice one, JR. Wala ba wala kang ipin? Parang dyan yung brace. Good luck. At least ilong siya. Hindi lagin. Ang sinabi lang rin yung ipin, hindi ka sa yung brace. Huwag ka assuming. Pwede ka ba ma-corner pag pabilog yung room? Pwede ba ma-corner sa pabilog na room? Ano yun? Oh my God. Ang kulit ng talo. Pwede eh. 
Ano mo nasabi? Pingot! Pag ginawa sa arms! <laughs> Pag ginawa niyan ka, gagawa siya ng sarili niyang corner. O, di okay. dapat ma-arc. Hindi ma-corner. Oo oh, nga. <laughs> o, oh, ma-arc kita. <laughs> <laughs> Para hindi naman nagre-reply si Ken. Oo oh, nga. <laughs> Wala ka na ibang question dyan. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit ba may mga taong ang lalakas pumindot ng enterkey? Uh, <laughs> Isa ako doon actually. Me. Tsaka space bar. <laughs> Pati space bar, ang lakas ako maka space bar. Tsaka enter. Yeah. Gigil bakit? <laughs> oh, wala. Na ano lang, nasanay lang siguro habang nung nag-aaral pa ako nung mag-type. First time ko humawa ko mm. ng, ng ano. Kasi malaki yung enter key, di ba? Parang ang sarap pindutin. <laughs> oh. Ganun ba pag malaki, masarap pindutin? <laughs> Oo. <laughs> ano yun? <laughs> Patay tayo dyan. <laughs> Hindi, size doesn't matter, JR. <laughs> okay, okay. Sabi mo. Oo nga, no? Si Bagwanya, pre. Siguro ano no, gigil. Nararamdaman nar- nila yung emotions nila yung para yung kasi iba kasi sa inyo pag ako din minsan naglalaro ako. Kapatid ko grabe. Inaano yung keyboard at yung mouse eh. Gaano pa kadalas mag ano? Uminom na. Oh, Ayun na. <laughs> Ayun, uminom pala ng tubig. Oh. Akala ko ano na eh. <laughs> Oh my G! Uminom ng tubig. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi marami pong madalas kong inaano eh. Mas maglinis ng bahay. Madalas akong mag-ano, mag-ganon, maglaba. Pero uminom ng tubig, everyday po. Ito talaga si WeTV. Ilang araw sa araw? Ilang araw sa min... Sa, ilang, ilang araw sa isang araw? Madalas ako every night ako talaga. Every night ko tinutodo eh. Every night ko tinutodo, yung pag-inom ng water. Hanggang madaling araw? Oo, kasi pag bago ka matulog, dapat hydrated ka eh. So sa gabi, tinutodo ko talaga. Oo, dapat hydrated. Pwede, pwede. Tinutodo sa gabi para hydrated. Okay, gusto ko yun. Alright, still. Tinutodo ko rin sa gabi. Ay, tinutodo mo rin yung pag-drink ng water sa gabi. Okay, para hydrated. Keep yourself hydrated, guys. Dapat hydrated ka eh. So sa gabi, tinutodo ko talaga. Gato pa nga yung baso ko eh. Minsan sa bahay tayo. Minsan ang dalawang kamay po gamit ko eh. Kasi malaki na yung baso ko gano'n. Ang laki naman ng baso mo still. Ganun ka. Ang laki ng baso niya. Oh my God. Oh my God, still. Grabe naman yung baso na yan. We need MTRCB rito. MTRCB. Jumbo size. Bisa ang dalawang kamay po gamit ko eh. Kasi malaki po yung baso ko ganun. Oh my God! Di ba may ganda pong baso? Yun. Tinutodo ko talaga sa gabi yun. Kaya pagising ko, pag matutulog ako, pagod na pagod ako, ang bigat ng baso eh. Ganun talaga ako matulog. Ay, nako. Grabe naman po. Steady, nga hinay oh, lang. Kaya <laughs> uh, pagising ko, pag, pag matutulog ako, pagod na pagod ako, bigat ng base. eh. Uh, <laughs> Ganun talaga ako pagtulog. Bakit mainit ang... <laughs> Sino yung nagsita? Sino yung nagsabing tumahimik ka na? <laughs> Parang si Pablo yata. Si Pablo? Si Pablo ba yun? Si Josh yata. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ganun talaga ako pagtulog. Bakit... <laughs> 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 Si ano? Si Ken? <laughs> si oh, Ken si yung sumita. Si Ken. Si Ken. <laughs> oh, ito mahimik ka. Baas eh. <laughs> Ganon talaga ako pag tulog. Oh my God. Ay, 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 ay. Bakit mainit ang araw? Hindi ko alam. Bakit ano sa... Hindi ba dahil sa gas? Pwede ba call a friend? <laughs> kasi po, di ba pag nasasaktan tayo, ano lang lagi sinasabi natin? Araw. 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 Pag nakita mo siya araw, ah, masakat siguro dyan, mainit. Ah, uh, okay. Pwede na. Joke ba yun, Stel? Huwag na kita sa araw. Huwag mo na ulitin ha. Last mo na yan ha. Make sense bro, make sense. Kung magpapainting ka ngayon, ano subject mo? Kung magpapainting, kayo po. Ano ba ito subject mo eh? Don't tell me, papatusin mo yung joke na anong subject mo. Kung anime character ka, ano outfit mo good for 100 episodes? Pang assassin. Mga mga nakatakip mo ka, pang ninja ninja. Alam mo na, ano yung episode? Okay. Anong theme? FPS siguro na ano. Maraming powers. Parang FPS na MOBA. Gusto ko yung parang marami nangyayari. Yung parang Overwatch, Valorant. Pero yung sarili kong characters yung ilalagay ko. Parang gano'n. Kung gagawa ka ng kanta, anong kanta? Kaya, magiging gano'ng kanta? Feeling ko ano, 
Magra-rap talaga ako. Rap talaga. Okay. Oy, magaling si Sel Magrap ah, yung sa Hallelujah niya, galing niya. Narinig ko na. Oo nga eh. Siya pa nag-sold, nagsulat noon. Ah, siya Sobrang nagsulat noon. Hmm, si oh, um, sinulat ni Justin okay. tsaka ni Stel yung sarili niyang mga lines doon. Stel yung lines doon. Oh my god. Yeah. I wanted magaling to hear them like the yung also parang yung mga um reggae type na mga music. Oh, also I wanted okay. to hear them sing something similar sa mga ganun. Parang pa-chill chill lang na medyo groovy. Oh, meron silang kanta na they call Tagaytay pero hindi pa nila nare-release. Parang Oh my god. <laughs> it's a, it's a really alam. Yeah, of course, of course. I'm a fanboy. Like <laughs> I know them for almost a year. Uh, for a year now actually. So I know a little bit about them na. So um yeah, you can check the Tagaytay song. It's really fun. Chaka Stel is really good in freestyle rap like impromptu oh, rap. He's really tama, good at it. Tama, tama, so um yeah. Nalala um, ko yung Meron siyang parang uh, kinover na kanta ni ano. Anong kanta yun yung parang dulo? Parang it's all coming back ba yun? Yung biglang dulo, okay. binago niya. Na parang oh. yung, uh, yung dulong part, pinalitan niya ng sarili niyang lyrics. That was so cool. Nice. Alright. Cool. Yeah, ayun. Si Stel, magaling sa freestyle rap. Para sa akin ha, siya yung pinakamagaling mag freestyle rap. Even better than Pablo. So, oh. mabilis siya mag Yeah. Underrated rapper to si Stel. All right, so let's keep going. Balik konti. Kasi ano, magra-rap talaga ako. <laughs> Kasi yung mga rapper namin dito parang ano eh, tinatamad mag-rap. Puro, <laughs> <laughs> puro ganun, parang galit lagi. Ah, sige, give me a, give me a beat. Ah, oh, oh, oh my God. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, oh. Pag nagkamali, kakanto ka kita. We TV, we TV, siguradong kami sa inyo'y mawiwili. Uh, oh my God! Kahit sino pang isama nyo, sasaya basta nandyan si Kuya Willy. Hindi ka naman si Willy. Para matamid yung nawiwili, Kuya Willy. Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> nice one, Stel. <laughs> <laughs> Medyo nakikringe yung mga ibang boys. <laughs> Kung gagawa ka ng rap, depende sa nararamdaman mo ngayon. Ano topic? Ay, naku po. Hindi nyo po alam. Kayo na po nanginginig ang aking mga kamay. Tumatayo ng aking balangin po. Ay! Ko na, na. May meeting na naman po ako dapat ngayon kanina. Kaso pinigilan ko lang. Oh, ito na yung beat mo. Oh. Medyo hindi ko na po mapigilan ng feelings. Pero kung na yung ilalabas mo. Okay. Ilalamig. <laughs> Kinakabahan. Tumatayo. Alam niyo po yung Ninja Turtles, sumisilip na dito. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> loko, loko, hindi nag-rap. Unfair naman to si Pablo. Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was a really good one. That was fun, right? So, yeah, You get was. to see a different side of them. The way they react sa mga weird questions. Uh, they, they really fun. Um, tsaka kahit yung mga sagot nila i mean yung iba hindi perfect but you know that's who they are they're human yeah, beings human they're nature. just like us the way they interact they're very relatable um, they don't always have the perfect answer but they are though, though because of their of their what they call this uh genuineness yeah yeah it's spontaneity um nagiging ano siya entertain nagiging entertaining yung ano nila mga ganong vlogs right So that's right. Ikaw, anong everything. masasabi mo sa sa ano sa video as a whole? As a whole, um nakakatuwa siya in a way na kasi syempre, palagi ko nakikita SB19 as performers eh. So para pag nakita mo yung mga funny side nila, yung mga regular na persona lang nila, no. So it's also something na parang mapi-feel mo na other than you look to them being an artist at the same time you will come to it will come to your mind na they are really just regular person or you so parang yan yeah. masayang pakiramdam na parang pwede mo silang makasama pwede mo silang makahalubilo something like that all right awesome that's why they have a lot of fans kasi nga napaka relatable na lang lahat so that's right li- and a lot of OFWs are you know the homesickness are being medi- uh, somehow neutralized dahil sa saya na binibigay nila sa mga tao. So, that's really right. Cool. That's right. All right. So, that was a fun reaction video, guys. Thank you. I hope you had fun as well. And uh, you too, JR, I hope you had fun. We have... Uh, all right. Great. So, let's go ahead and do uh, a little bit of Q&A with the viewers. 
right? So let's uh, give them a chance to ask you whatever they want to ask. You said you're an open book, right? So uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I want to give them the chance to ask you. So guys, let's go ahead and ask JR. I'm, I will pick like maybe three to five questions and he's going to answer it right away. So guys, what are your questions? You may start asking us now. I'll go ahead and take a look at the live chat. And yeah, uh, JR would answer all of your questions, guys. Let's go. All right. Okay, we have a little bit of a 15 seconds delay, so that's why. There we are. There's another. I don't know if you want to answer this. It's okay if you don't want to. May we know your age? <laughs> oh. I am nasa range ako ng 40 to 50. Oh, that's not bad. That's actually young. Act to be honest. I mean, that's that's fine. That's yeah. Absolutely fine. Age okay. reveal po. Oh yeah. Age so reveal po. 40 to 50. And done. Oh. Pero I am still like so active. I play competitive volleyball now and yeah, so par- parang feeling ko young at heart pa din. Alright, great, awesome. Manonood ka ba daw ng Pipap Con? Like, may online tickets naman sila. Are you gonna watch? Oh, may online tickets yun? Meron, yes. Oh, it's really cheap, 900 that. pesos. Oh, I would, I would, I would. Yeah. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Akala ko face-to-face yeah. lang siya. Meron face-to-face, pero may online. So, you get okay. to also see other Pipap groups like... Yeah, um, thank you so much yeah. for letting me know, guys. Nice. So, manonood siya, guys. Ayos yun. Alright, great. So, um, anong subject daw yung tiniteach mo? I think you mentioned it a few times already, right? Yeah, so it's I teach mathematics. Math. Yeah, so mm-hmm. currently, I uh, used to teach uh, grade 6 math, kinder math, um, grade 3 math, then uh, grade 7 math, grade 9 and grade 10 math. Now, this time, I am teaching algebra um, like yung math one kasi nila rito medyo ano eh, medyo komplikado so a little of everything so yun pero most of the lahat ng tunnel ko ay puro math then I used to teach also um, computer subject before pero parang biglaan lang siya eh. parang parang na parang oh, ikaw ituro mo to kaya mo tong ituro kasi parang they feel like yung math at saka yung computer meron siyang commonalities eh. lalo sa pagdating sa mga conditions, ganyan. So, I also nice. taught a little on programming before. Wow, that's really cool. That's great. Okay, so, um, we have a question here. Are you planning to stay there in the US at kunin na lang yung pamilya mo sa Pilipinas or are you going home anytime soon? No, um, ang puso ko ay nasa Pilipinas. So, ang big plan is, um, I'm gonna bring my kids here para lang may experience nila no yung yung uh, buhay America and also may improve yung kanilang language as well and then makakita ng kaka ng ibang culture other than the Philippines Tsaka in one day kapag mga adult na sila they can also use yung kanilang experience dito sa ibang bansa so that's the big plan pero after noon siguro 3 to 5 years I'm gonna set gusto ko kasi mag-retire ng maaga kasi I've been working all my, all my life yeah, man, so after bro, noon that's, yeah that's a dream absolutely very nice good plan so kung mamamatay ka uh, bukas kaninong katawan ka sasanib I think she's kaninong, referring to SB19. So, kaninong kat- oh, to katawan ka sa Sunny, but bakit? Sa Sunny ba ako sa katawan ni Ken? Oh, bakit Ken? Okay, not Josh, but Ken. Alright. Kay Ken. Para... Feeling ko kasi, ano eh, feeling ko kasi yung pagiging mysterious ni Ken ay something na I wanted to know more. So, once nakapasok na ako sa katawan niya, eh, malalaman ko na everything about him. All right, cool. Okay, trying to get to know how he thinks. The way yeah. He... Uh, right. Medyo prank ka kasi yan si Ken eh. Tapos um, at the same time, parang meron nga siyang isang interview na parang may nireak ako na parang nakapost lang siya na naka, nakapangwaway siya. Yung parang meron siyang cup na covering his face. I was thinking na picture lang yun kasi he doesn't move. <laughs> parang hindi siya gumagalaw until may magtanong sa kanya. So, at first, I was thinking na akala ko ano lang siya. Akala ko picture lang yun nandun. Tapos may voice lang sa gilid. So, I feel like Ken is so mysterious. So, I wanted to mo- know more about Ken. 
All right. Thank you so much for answering that. And uh, thank you so much, Marilu D, for the 19 bucks. That's so big. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate that so much. Um, okay. Uh, may kilala ka bang ibang P-pop group aside from SB19? JR? Wala eh. Pero meron na, ibig sabihin, kakilala na parang nari- ako na o oh, narinig ko na yung music. Ay, wala yeah. pa eh. Pero I tried... I tried uh, listening to uh, yung Alamat, yung Abacada. Um, okay. So, yun yung narinig ko na siya. And I was supposed to make a reaction video to that. But unfortunately, nung ina-upload ko na siya, lagi siyang binablock ni YouTube. Eh. So, hindi ko alam what is wrong uh, with oh, the manner of sad. uploading it. Yeah, so, kaya hindi ko. Pero that's, that's one um, peep-up group na narinig ko na. Some of them I've heard, but I've never reacted and listened to their music yet. So, that's why I'm asking the the um, SB19 group and the peep-up supporter to uh, send me some um, very good suggestion sa mga pipa groups na meron tayo ngayon sa Pilipinas. All right, perfect. Thank you. We're very well said. I think I got the last uh, question here. My meaning po ba yung tattoos mo? I really I'm curious about this question. I, uh, Coming from a tattooed girl, then so yeah. How many tattoos you have? First of all, I only have one uh, tat. Pero nagreren siya galing sa ilalim ng pa ako paakyat sa binte, tuhod, hita, sa kalahati ng bat ko, kalahati ng dibdib ko, kalahati ng likod ko, tsaka kalahati ng braso ko. So, literally, wow. kalahati ng katawan. So, isa That's lang siya. That's cool. That's really cool. What does it mean? So, this is a fire. So, yung fire, siya yung kumalat sa bukong katawan coming from a Lincoln torch. Park. So, may torch kasi yan sa may dibdib dito sa dibdib okay. ko. Tapos yung fire niya, yun yung umikot sa bukong katawan hanggang sa paa. It represent my school. Um, yung um, sign ng school na pinanggalingan ko, which is a torch um, to give light and at the same time uh, para i-guide yung mga tao na maka- makakama cross ko. Alright, that is really amazing. Awesome. That's a really cool tattoo as well. I love the flame. It reminds me of Chester Bennington. Um, oh. RIP R- to him. Uh, Lincoln Park, a uh, rock band I, oh, I like yeah. so much. So yeah, that's really cool. This okay, is like Flame of Brecca. You know the Flame wow. of Brecca na, ano, yeah. na anime? Absolutely. I, I love that anime. Yeah, I have here Madoka. Um, oh Gordo. shit! <laughs> really? Saiha. That's... <laughs> you do? For real? No, no, no. <laughs> no, you were just joking. <laughs> oh man, that is really cool, bro. Pero grave ah, you know that? Na, that's really cool. Ano ka talaga? First generation ng mga anime. That's really cool. Okay, thank you for uh, for sharing that. So people are like finishing your enumeration here. They're saying Setsuna, Rui, Setsuna, Coco, yeah, Rui. Coco. Oh, yeah. People watched it. That's cool. All right. <laughs> That's really nice. Ang princesa. Nice. Kailangan kong iligtas ang princesa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ang mahiwagang sandata. Oh, mga yeah. Ganun. <laughs> oh, oh. Ang mahiwagang oh. sandata. Si Corinay at saka si ano, Corey. Yeah. Nakakamiss. Nakakamiss naman yun. Oh. I really love that anime. I enjoyed it so much. Parang sa every hapon, makaga umuwi. Para lang sa anime. I mean, I was yeah. still studying. So, Really, really cool. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, we are going to play one last game and then we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up. So I hope you're still okay, uh, JR. Yeah, you're fine. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> awesome. Okay. It's daytime here. Okay, Kapaba, Chuck. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, I just had dinner, so I'm full. So we're we're, we're all set. So um, this is well. The next game we're gonna play is called the Would You Rather game. So I have added a few more situations. Sa list of situations dito. So medyo uh, there's a little bit more fun that's gonna happen here. Um, before we start, I want to give a shout out to Minyo TV. Minyo TV, the twins, my besties. Shout out to you both. You guys are the best. Uh, Beautiful ladies from Dominican Republic. All right, shout out to you. So, going back, let's go ahead and start playing this game, guys. Would you rather game? I want the audience or the viewers to play along as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing 
rolling. Okay, give me a few secs. Just gonna take off that chat here. All right, let's play. First situation. All right, so if you get to join a reality TV show, would you wanna join survival a survival show with SB19 or dating show? A survival show for SB19. Why? Yeah. It's just like um, medyo ano siya, medyo parang more on mga challenges, makikita kung paano mag-strategize and group uh, with me. So I will go with survival. Tsaka parang mas ano siya, mas exciting, mas exciting siya. All right. There is there is risk, right? And yeah, there's there like is. Sense of urgency as well. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I love that. My thrill. Gusto mo ng thrill. Gusto ko yun. Nice, Ooh. nice answer. Very rare na marinig ko kasi most of them are like dating, dating, dating agad yung mga guest ko. Oh. <laughs> Masyado greedy pero ikaw gusto mo yung mga my thrill. I like that. All right. Maganda yung mga Next games one. eh. Oh, yeah. Games. Survival uh, games and all. Like, Survivor, Tago, parang survival show. Tago ang gahasa, gano'n. Ano <laughs> Habol ang gahasa. <laughs> Ikaw, JR, ha? Grabe, ha? <laughs> ang kagulat yung mga kala ko. Anong game sa survival? Yan, eh, habol ang gahasa pala, eh. <laughs> Loko to. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, next one. Alright, so when choosing a partner, would you prefer someone with long hair or short hair? Siyempre sa babae with long hair. Okay. Alright. Okay, cool. Well, it really looks good on them pag long uh, hair. Pero ako, actually, I prefer someone who has long hair. I, I mean, who has short hair, actually, most of the time. Pero wife ko, long hair din. Pero mm. nung nag short hair siya, mas nag... Ano, mas nag-bloom siya sa paningin ko. <laughs> Pero kanya-kanyang trip naman yan. Kanya-kanyang trip naman yan. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Alright. So for you, long hair. Really cool. Next one. Okay. Would you date or would you want to have a partner who's younger or older than you? I'll go for younger. Kasi older okay. na ako. <laughs> para, <laughs> ano, para, para may balance. Para All nakaka... Right. Nakaka-relate pa rin ako doon sa kung ano yung mga trend ngayon, kung ano yung mga gusto ng mga mas nakakabata ngayon. Oh, I like the way you said that kasi nga um, when you get as you get older, you actually get to learn new things from younger minds. That's right. right. And, That's right. And the other and uh, on the flip side, they also get to learn from you from your experience. That's right. So, exactly. It's a give and take thing, so I I loved your answer. Okay, younger it is. Okay. I also prefer younger ones, so okay. Pero yung misis ko naman, ano siya? Mm, her spirit is much more older than my, than me than mine. Oh <laughs> Mas really? Ma, ako yung inaalagaan to be honest. So uh... anyway, moving on. So would you prefer? A country boy or country girl or a city dweller if you choose a partner? I'll go with the uh, the country girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, country girl. Parang, yan talaga yung ano ko eh, yung pinaka gusto ko. Tsaka yung, alam mo na yung gusto lang nila magsampay, <laughs> magprepare yeah. ng ano, pagkain. Tapos, True. parang yung simple lang. Kasi mas simple yung buhay, mas ano eh, parang, parang walang masyadong komplikasyon, gano'n. Yeah, exactly. Walang ano, walang sabit masyado, ano lang. Uh, chill lang talaga, right? Chill And lang, chill lang. You mentioned na, it earlier in the interview as well. Ng, ano, kumukuha lang ng manga, yes. sa likod ng bahay, kumukuha ng mga kangkong, sili, gano'n. <laughs> I really love yeah. that type of life. Living the life, yes. Peaceful lang. And you know, ako gusto ko rin yung life na yun pero sana may wifi man lang sana, okay? <laughs> Para masaya. Ah, Makapag- <laughs> happy happy. <laughs> yes. Anyway, moving on. I really like your responses. Okay, next one, would you rather receive the first move or make the first move? I'm going to make the first move. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, kasi in the way ma- ma- when you make the first move parang 
wala kang regrets eh kasi you know that you did your part so whatever happened after you did your first move uh, parang you are all good kasi uh, alam mo na hindi ka magwa wonder one day what if kasi kasi nga ginawa mo ko ano yung gusto mong gawin so i would go doing the first move okay i like the courage right there okay yeah what about when it comes to the romance side of things would you well, rather receive thing, uh-huh. i'm gonna make the first move as well Oh, okay. I love Kasi that. Kasi baka matagalan ni. Eh. Matagalan. <laughs> Mapanis na. Kasi sa hangko na kagad. <laughs> All right. That's what I like. Okay. That's what I like. Okay. I like hearing that, JR. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Next one. Okay. So, physical contact naman. Would you prefer holding hands or arm wrapped around? Akbay. Uh Saan ba yan? Dalawa lang kayong magkasama o sa public place? Um, I mean, uh, wherever. Like, you can answer both, actually. So, let's yeah, say, I, kung I would, mag-isa. I would love that arm wrap around. And, uh, wala bang ano dyan? Ibang option, like, ano, magkatabi, magkagilid, back-to-back, ganun. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> back-to-back. <laughs> okay. So, wala doon ako ba? sa arm wrap around. Yeah, parang feeling Arm- mo nakayakap ka na rin. Ah, okay. Uh, Gusto para mo mas, mas secure. Parang feel niya lagi siyang secure sa iyo. Yan on. Alright. Walang okay. pwedeng umagaw dito. Ah. She's mine. Parang ganun. Alright. Cool. Next one. Oh, okay. Ito naman. Pagpapipiliin ka anong mawawala sa iyo. No kiss forever or no hug forever? Anong mawawala o anong ikikip ko? Um, yeah, exactly. Parang ganun. So, uh, hindi ka na pwedeng mag-kiss forever sa partner mo o hindi ka na pwedeng mag-hug forever sa partner mo? Anong yung mag- gusto mong ikip? Yeah. Ikikip ko na lang yung ano, no kiss forever kasi gusto ko yung hug palagi. Oh. Mas so, okay yung hug. No kiss, yeah. Kasi so, pag think- hug, ano eh, mm-hmm. mas mas intimate siya feeling ko eh kapag ka uh, skin to skin na siya. So parang feeling ko hindi ko kayang mawala yun. Oh, okay. All right. So no kiss forever. Um so gusto mo my hug. I in my opinion also hug is much more intimate and warm as well. So you feel it much, you know, it's it's I don't know, it's just a uh, preference I guess, pero grabe. Yeah. Agree na agree ako dun sa 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 answer mo. All right, next one. Okay, so would you want a kiss from one of SB19 boys or five thousand dollars? Gano katagal yung kiss? <laughs> Gano katagal? <laughs> you remind me a little bit of. Sino nga to? You remind me a little bit of Jivan because when I asked him this question, he actually said it depends on where I can kiss them. Ikaw naman, it depends uh, on how long I can kiss them. So, <laughs> it's so funny kasi nga, <laughs> you are so specific. You are like, um, what do you call this? Um, realistic, I guess. So, you want to wage things. You want to measure things. <laughs> okay, yeah. Math teacher talaga. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so it dep- as long as you want I guess I don't know I will, <laughs> but... if that is the case then I'll go to five thousand dollars oh really <laughs> it doesn't even oh that's a surprise why okay uh, well actually, five thousand is a lot of money okay yeah it's a lot of money and um lima kasi sila eh, diba yung choice isa lang sa kanila So yung 5,000, ititempt ko sila, babayaran ko sila tagwa 1,000 para pumayag silang lima. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bribing pala ito. <laughs> alright, alright. Okay, next one. Really smart answers there. Okay. Ooh, okay. Would you like... Sige, sa magano muna tayo. Pag matutulog ka... Would you like the lights on? Would you rather have the lights on or lights off? Lights off, ako eh. Lights off. Okay. Well, what if uh, we? What if we talk about the romance thing? Lights on or lights off? Lights off, pa din. Lights off, pa rin. Okay. Yeah. May major exciting yung lights off din. Chaka may romantic feel actually for uh, lights uh, off. <laughs> yeah. With uh, with background music, you know. 
Yeah, background music. All right, yeah. careless whisper ganon. <laughs> Hindi mga bazinga ganon. Para. Oh, ibazinga so, pang ano pang malakasan? Talaga pang malakasan. <laughs> <laughs> para ano? Let's ano? Let's break the bed. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> bazinga mga what ganon? Oh, oh. <laughs> Pote ng dili. Palayo. <laughs> Palayo, yan ang music, music video <laughs> na song. Alright, I like the answer. That's, I think, the most entertaining answer I've heard from any guest so far. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Okay, next one. Oh, in, cho- in choosing a partner, alright, would you prefer someone who's dominant or submissive? I'll go with the submissive kasi medyo dominant ako eh. So... Oh. Para nagmamatch. Okay. Pan- kasi pag pareho kayong dominant, baka mag-wrestling na lang kayo noon. <laughs> so, <laughs> kailangan magbigay yung isa. So, right. I'll go with a submissive uh, partner. Oh, okay. All right. Ako, it depends on the situation eh. It depends. But, uh, siguro pag matagal na nagiging dominant na ako, ganun. Pero pag simula, ano, chill-chill muna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, you know uh, how it is. Pag-aaralan ko yan, kung paano yan. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Next one. All right. So, ito naman. If if the bedroom does not exist, when where do you want to sleep with your with your partner? Would you choose in the bathroom or kitchen? <laughs> Depende kung may space yung bathroom, no. Pero kung <laughs> kung sa kitchen. Space. Sa kitchen, pwedeng gumawa ng space eh. So, uh, okay. Sa kitchen na lang ako. Pero itatabi ko yung mga matutulis na bagay. Okay. Alright, cool. Interesting. Tsaka para pag naguto, mabilis nang kumain. Oh, okay. Convenient. <laughs> Alright, gusto ko yun. Gusto ko yun. Medyo practical yung sagot mo. Okay. Kasi nga, pag sa ano, walang pagkain eh. Walang ano. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Alright, sa kitchen. Okay. I like that. Kitchen table. <laughs> Saka kasi yung bathroom namin sa Pilipinas, hindi naman sa ano lang. Yung mga bathroom namin, alam mo yung isang hakbang, isang hakbang, pinto, sunod na hakbang, CR, sunod na hakbang, liguan. Ganun na siya. Yeah, that's how it is here. Ganun na ganun din sa amin dito. <laughs> so I can relate. Okay. All right. Kitchen it is. Okay. Next one. Ooh. So... Pag may accident na nangyari, would you rather accidentally send your bikini pics to SB19 or send your twerking videos to SB19? <laughs> oh, the twerking video. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's so mas prefer mo yan makita. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Parang gano'n na kaagad. I like the first move eh. Sa gano'n na kaagad. Wala nang palaligoy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> May sabi dito, bikini intentionally. Okay. Hindi nga intentionally, accidentally. <laughs> Pero si si JR, guys, parang intentionally twerking video <laughs> isisend eh. <laughs> oh my God. Medyo Ay, ano. Yung, yung video, ano yun na Full length yun ha? Hindi yun ano lang ha? Uh, full length? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gusto ko sa kanyang reaction ni Pablo dito. Ito siguro yung reaction niya pag nasendan mo siya ng twerking video. Oh my G! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tapos may turtle daw na lumabas. Sabi ni A- Ile- oh! Ilea Bruno. <laughs> yung turtle na naman. Narinig ka kayo. Ano yung turtle na yan? Oh my God. Ang kalat natin. <laughs> Okay, next one, next one. Okay, so, pag si Stel, magbigay siya ng watermelon, uh, will you spit the watermelon seeds or will you swallow them for Stel? <laughs> oh my God, of course I swallow it. <laughs> swallow? Lahat. Grabe, kaya mong mag-swallow ng watermelon seeds? Pati balat. Pati balat? <laughs> Buong watermelon na. <laughs> Buong watermelon. <laughs> Isama mo na yung Agad ano, na nagbigay. Oo, oo. Isama, Isama mo na yung nagbigay. nagbigay. All in yan. All in. Kasama yan lahat. <laughs> lahat na. Kakayanin yan kahit hindi kaya. 
<laughs> Pagkasyahin lahat, pati si... Yes! <laughs> oh my lord, pinagpapawisan ako dito, guys. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> lahat daw, swallow. Swallow na swallow, 100%, guys. Alright. Okay, I gotcha. Walang iluluwa, walang iluluwa. Walang iluluwa. <laughs> Rekta. <laughs> Tawang-tawa yung mga nasa live chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, sabi ni Mang Jose, uh, Sir JR proved today that he's a free book. No filter talaga. So, if she's a girl, may inam si Ken sa kanya. Yes! I like that. I like that. Yeah, true, true. No holes barred. I love that. Pedal to the metal. <laughs> oh, that's right. Let's go. Okay, so I think that's about it. That's the last one. So, Thank you so much for participating in that game, JR. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, I did actually. So I was right. a little uh, like uh, cautious about this um, experience, but I am loving it. Uh, you are such a great uh, creator, uh, Chuck. I really appreciate uh, your preparation for this. This is awesome. Oh, no. This is awesome, dude. No worries. I enjoyed uh, interacting with you as well. It's a blessing. Uh, you are a blessing. Um, thank you for inspiring us, uh, 18, and other people who are listening as well. Um, thank you for sharing your story. I'm sure that uh, your kids will grow up, you know, as good people, just like you, and keep on spreading the love. All right? Yeah. So, yeah, you're the best, brother. Thank you for letting me have you, okay? Yeah, thank you for inviting me. All right, great. So, um, I hope we get a part two um, next time, or maybe we can make a video together. Yeah. So I hope that happens. Ooh, that soon. would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it soon. All right. And I hope we remain friends after this. All right. Yeah, we are already, right? Yeah, absolutely, we are. We will be. Because I didn't know you were going to Oh no, 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 I really hope so. So I hope that happens soon and keep doing you. Um, you are really good in making reaction videos, so just keep on doing it. I will be there. Mangugulo palagi sa comment section mo. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so, all right. Um, do you have any um any last uh, thoughts, last message to um to all of us, your fans, and SB19 as well, and to everyone? Well, um, I just want to say to everyone, um, um. Siguro, as a fan, as an 18, uh, we are doing the best that we can to uh, project on the mga virtues and values that SB19 would want us to have. It is so um, important that we always um, stay footed as what the SB19 would want us to be. Always share um, your love. Always choose to be kind. These are some great values that is applicable to all type of situation na meron tayo. And I would always agree na um, there's always a downside moment of our lives. And um, these are parts of like living and growing and everything. Um, always have hope. Wag mo awala ng pag-asa. And never give up on your dream on whatever it is. How big it is, how small it is, it is a dream. And the best way for you to be able to get it is to always make the first move. That single step, that is all you need. Okay? If meron kang thought na nasa isip mo, uh, make the first move. Do not hesitate to make that first move. That will always lead you to a destination soon. And I really love that um, SB19 um, have been showing us how they journeyed, all the struggles that they have experienced before. Um, I can relate to that because that happened to me. And if I stop on my dream, that means that I am not on my situation now. So it's the same thing with SB19 and that applies to all. So we have to keep hanging no matter what happened to us. Palagi tayong wag pangihinaan ng loob. Kasi God is so good um, to all of us. Hindi niya tayo bibigyan ng problema na hindi natin kayang lampasan. But we have to make way. We have to make way and we have to always uh, keep, the, uh, keep the faith and let the fire burning on ourselves. Wow. Oh my God, that deserves a standing ovation right there. What 
a message from our friend right there, all the way from uh, from South Carolina, North Carolina. I, I North always Carolina. get confused. North Carolina. Yeah, lang yan. Okay, lang yan. South din ako eh, like South Carolina. Din. All right. Oh, thank you for the message. I appreciate you being here. And I will not take more of your time, JR. I hope to see you in your next reaction video. I'll be there to watch yes, your video. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, all right. Well, well thank um, you so much, guys. Thank you, Chuck. And thank you to the 18. Um, not only I'm going to say thank you because they are supporting us, both of us. They are supporting SB19. But at the same time, um, before I say, I have to admit with you, Chuck, I'm not much into yung mga fanatics and mga fandom. But the way I have seen the 18, how they react to a situation, how they respond to their um, idols, how they respond to the online community, how they respond to our um, inquiries, how they comment. They are so respectful. They are so loving. They are so kind. And all um, all respect to the 18. And uh, same to you, to all the other reactors. Let's all make this on our own little way. Let's push up the Filipino music um, to top. And... You know what? This small um, gestures of ours could be something that um, will be helpful for the industry. So why not do it? Because hindi naman siya, hindi naman siya masasayang in the end. All right. Wow. Thank you so much, Jer. All right. I'll let you have your breakfast now. Because <laughs> wala ka oh, yeah. breakfast. No problem. No problem. Maglunch yeah. ka na hey. actually. <laughs> Yeah, oh my. So, may, may sumundo na sa akin kanina eh. Hindi pa daw ba ako sa kanina? Hindi pa, busy ako. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well, thank you for letting me have you and I will not take more of your time. Have yourself a wonderful day. Enjoy your rest day. Um and yeah, stay safe, okay? Yeah, um, I love thank you, you so brother. Much. Yeah, I love and, you too. Yeah. I love you all. All right. Bye everyone. Bye man. Bye. All right, guys. So that was it. That was such a banger stream, guys. Bro. Wow, that was so entertaining. I was entertained myself. JR is such an entertaining dude. Um, thank you guys for joining us in the in the podcast. Um, I hope you are you were inspired by his story as well. I was inspired as heck. You know what? He's the first person who got me thinking about you know going back to school. Like real talk, guys. So he made me realize how important education is and that education is not a race. It doesn't matter how old you are. As long as, you know, you pursue it, you know, you deserve to, to, to finish it if you want it. So I might actually do it sometime soon. All right. So thank you, JR, for letting me realize that. I learned a lot from co-18s, guys, uh, from co-18. So um, we, the common denominator really are we we keep on meeting inspiring people you know as we follow is sb19 and uh jr is one good great example of that type of person so shout out to him big shout out to him and guys big shout out to you thank you for staying with us on stream and i will not take more of your time uh, i'm a bit hungry actually i want to eat again <laughs> so uh see you soon guys um Make sure to smash the like button so that makikita so that makita nila yung uh, podcast, all right? Yung ibang na kami sa podcast. Uh, make sure to smash the like button, guys. Okay, magiwan ko yung like. Um, see you soon. Um, tomorrow is the P-pop ticket sale, but I will not be able to go there. I I just can't. Okay, I just can't. Kasi nga meron na kong commitment, so I'm gonna buy the ticket online. I hope I will. I hope I can land the VIP. So I really am hoping for that. Sana hindi magloko yung ticket net. Uh, ticket uh, website para makabili ng, ng VIP. So, good luck sa mga taong pupunta bukas sa ticket selling event. So, ayun. See you soon, guys. I love you. I will not take more of your time, okay? Alright. Peace out, guys. Love you. Bye.